Did each of you have a fine day? So far, so good. It's been kind of rainy here. It's been a rainy week. Been a little drizzly and finizzly, and it's been, uh, what's the word? Uh, soppy, slo soggy, soggy, bumpy. I was I was getting all my words confused. I was thinking sloggy. No, if something's a slog, then it's like a dull tread. But soppy. No, things are sopping wet. But we're we're almost there. And I couldn't remember, couldn't remember soggy. I was like, oh, I know that there's a word like it. Yeah. I feel like I'm glad we got something wet versus soggy. Soggy feels like it's been wet long Full enough that it's had an effect on it beyond just being wet. I think, yeah, soggy to me, when someone says something soggy, it means the water has soaked into something. The dirt is muddy, and, like, maybe your clothes are just, they're not just wet, they're just, they're, they're damp because they've absorbed the moisture, they've absorbed the water. Yeah. A so like, a, a swamp is soggy, right? But a parking lot isn't soggy in the rain, it's just a wet parking lot, you know? It doesn't really soak into anything that much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Bonfrette. I don't know that, But soggy know that dirt hard, is mud. Yeah, like I, I don't know that a hard object would ever be considered soggy. It would just be wet. I will say, I really do hope we're live, because we don't want people missing this gold right here. Unfortunately. We are. Oh, no. Oh, unfortunately we are. Oh, good. I think. I got you there. Yeah. We, we don't... Oh, oh, boy. How unfortunate. We are live once again. Back to, back to this fucking charade we call our lives. Oh, maybe Ugh. for you. I, I got my soggy man. dirt, my soggy shirt. It's all soggy. Actually, my house isn't soggy at all. Those well, kind of roofman came in and fixed it. Oh yeah, uh, apparently I hit 400k subscribers just like five minutes ago. Eight. Hooray! Yay! Ooh. Bum, 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 bum. Your, subscri your subscriber count is soggy. Oh, is that good? Yes. Oh, well, good. Um, yeah, uh, maybe I'll do a stream for that or something at some point. I don't know. Um, and then we got to do one for Mueller, get to you know, the EFAP channel, get to 100k. I figure that maybe the, the idea for that will be get as many people as we can to play Gartacone. <laughs> I think that would be a solid idea best way to do it um yeah i think that'll be good all right so today well, we're hopefully gonna so get today. the other uh, quote-unquote half of the song efap super that's done nice after that we'll be going on to the catch-up for hassan stream super chats because those obviously didn't didn't get answered either and then, if, we, if we're if we able to do it, we will then do today's ones. I doubt we'll be able to get through more than that. That would be uh, probably yeah, going to be it. But we'll hey, find out. We'll yeah, find we'll out. Let's go for it. One super chatter at a time. Smaller a QA. and a Oh, wait, that's every super chat stream. Well, that's kind of how I feel about that. I, I had plans to do more Q&As, but they've just been subsumed by EFAP and Super Chat Catch-Up. I guys don't see how... The, the, all the questions get answered here, so it just seems pointless. Yeah. <laughs> um, at more, when do we get to ask the questions? That's what I want to know. Audience? How, how about, yeah, how about you ask the questions, and they gotta answer them, see how easy it is. Alright. Here's the first one. What's your favorite episode of EFAP? Let's see what the answers are. Oh. Just, just only uh, post the number, okay? Oh, I meant oh, ask yeah, the questions ask to the it. audience. You don't have to answer. Yeah, it, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I just hear, I instinctively hear someone ask a question, mm -hmm. and my my brain just goes, oh, God, I can't answer him. That was an interrogative question. Do it. Come on. I've, that's how I've been trained. That's how Mahler's trained me in EFAP. Oh, look at all these answers. Got 200. Didn't even happen yet. 100, 150, 93. Of course, 93 is in there. 100, 150, 66. What are we doing? I'm not 66? the best at oh, remember. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not the best at remembering the numbers of EFAPs, so I will need to keep a thing open. So, what was 66 EFAP 66? That was our most viewed one. Full breakdown of Star Wars Episode Nine: Rise of Skywalker. That was a great one. Yeah, it was uh, the long boy. 
That film was yeah. bad, guys. Bad. That was a bad, bad boy. That's at a million views, by the way. Oh, is it? One million eight thousand. Damn. Seven hundred and ninety-four. So, arguably within this week, that hit one million. So, hooray! Yay. Here, um, note to the editor: add confetti and post and like noises and stuff. I don't think they. Hooray! Super chat one points, million. Man. One million nine thousand views. Mm -hmm. I think that is that our is that our only one million uh, count EFAP? Uh yeah, definitely none of the other ones are that's the only one to get that high for sure. Neat. Well I wouldn't want it to be any other one. Yes. Yeah, uh... it, it, it feels appropriate. TLJ brought us together and then we got a, a one million for the, the eulogy for TLJ, which was the rise of Skywalker. Yeah, yeah. Who knows? Maybe one day they'll give us an episode 10. It would be great. They absolutely will one day give us an episode 10. You know that they're just they're just waiting. Waiting to see how the shows do. Timing. You know they're waiting. This is straw like poll. What am I going to do? Put episodes 1 through 181 on a straw poll? Yeah, fucking do it. That would be insane. Ridiculous. Be insane nonsense. Brain. So instead... I shall simply start reading these super chats. So, there we go. There first we go. one, and obviously these are these are from that halfway through the stream at this point. So who knows what we'll get? At Mola, have you seen the video "How Sally Destroys Sue"? The really good playlist. I promise it's relevant to the current topic. I have no idea what that is. Right? Does that sound familiar, to you guys? How Sally destroys Sue. How it's it says revisiting the threat narrative. Hmm. It is a six and a half minute video. So yeah, I don't. Okay. Mm. Um, Nine years ago. Hmm. How can you say you support the working class and then just say that's the way it is? Deal with it. Wow, brainless Hassan. They, yeah, because they don't. Because he doesn't care. A lot no. of them don't really. Care. Dude, he but he does care to a degree no because he is the working class and he cares about himself. Oh, that's true. He works very hard. He is part of the working class. Working hard. What a good he life. is as shocked as anyone else to realize he is not <laughs> part of the working class. He's one of the elites. I mean, you could tell that was bullshit. He struggled to continue to say it in that clip. He was like, "Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm." I'm I, 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 I'm, I'm kind of working class. It's like, no. You know it. We know it. No. Uh, I like goblins. They are cool. Goblins? Uh, it depends. Goblins, uh, I guess it depends, yeah. Yes. Goblins are like orcs. They they are a... they, they yeah, That's a wide swath of different body types and cultures and, you know, aesthetics. They're, they cover everything. You got your wow... Kind of dwarves and your D or sorry, your dwarf. Well, you do have dwarves in a while, but that was. You have your Dungeons and Dragons and Pathfinder goblins. You have your scary um, goblins from Lord of the Rings. Uh, you have goblins from like Princess and the Goblins. That's that was a that's a movie. That's that was quite an animated movie. That was fun, Princess and the Goblin. Hmm. Um, goblins, all kinds of things. So sometimes goblins are cool. Sometimes they are not cool and they're disgusting. Kind of like people, actually. Yeah, people can be disgusting. Yeah, people can be disgusting and subhuman, but they can also be amazing. So anyway, um, I won't take any of Hassan's promises. They are empty like his head. Oof. Oh, no, boy. No, that's not... I, I, I would offer a hypothesis. His head is not empty. It is full of himself. Nice. I'd say it's dense all the way through. It's like it just poured concrete in there. <laughs> it is dense. How can a man be so empty, so vapid, and yet so dense? Incredible, really. The it's a philosophical Hassan question. In the newest Harry Potter movie, the leader of the magical world has been chosen by an infant magic deer without democracy. Rolling can't write politics. Laugh my ass off. I don't even know what that's Sorry. supposed to mean. <laughs> like, An infant magical deer? Well, that fits in with that fits in with I, Harry Potter. Where you can say anything is the way it is, and you're like, yeah, 
Yeah, just an infinite magical deer chooses the yeah the president, the magic president. I mean, the sword hat's pretty terrifying, isn't it? Dense. Like it reads yeah, your mind and like, knows I'm where gonna, you belong. It's like, what does that mean? I'm gonna. That is kind of weird. These are the kinds of you know what Harry Potter needs a big retrospective look at all this sort of thing that you didn't notice as a kid. They do. As a kid, I'm like, oh, sorting hat. That's kind of fun. That's neat. And yeah. then you're like, oh, you just like look into my mind and my personality, and, and you you've know decided what, that I'm what I'm cutting and I'm mischievous, to. and I have, I belong in the evil house. <laughs> like, okay. Nah, I'd, I'd be I'd want to be one of the bad boys. Put me in Slytherin. I want to be bad to the bone. No rules. Yeah. Well, and they get snakes. Snakes are cool. But then again, yeah. Snakes is it a raven cool. for the uh, or, or an eagle for raven the? Claw. Ravenclaw is Raven. All <laughs> oh, right, I legit Puff. forgot it was even called Ravenclaw. Um, Hufflepuff, I think, is a rabbit, right? Is it? I don't know. I think so. I, that and sounds like a, an animal you'd pair you'd pair with. First off, Gryffindor isn't a Griffin. Okay, whatever. Um, but yeah, we have Ravenclaw, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, and Gryffindor. Well, uh. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> It'd be better Somewhere if it were randomized, okay? Because it makes children feel like they're evil or something. That is strange, yeah. Do we ever meet any good Slytherins? Rob... Well, Snape, right? I suppose so, yeah. But do you think that she had that planned out when she started the thing? I think she probably slipped into thinking, this will be fun, I'll make the kids who are kind of assholes go into Slytherin, and then most of them grow up to be evil people, and then she's like, wait... I may have fucked up here. Do you think that those plot points, do uh, you think they slithered in? Uh, uh. What was the question? <laughs> well, I said, oh, the much magic it. deer. I mean, it's magic like, what, what else do you say about a magic deer? It's like, alrighty. Obey the magic deer. Oh, its name is Obey? Obey? Isn't it obey? Obey the magic deer appoints the leader. Jesus Christ. What's happening? Obey the magic deer. The, the fantasy world, okay? It's different rules. Obey the magic deer, or you will be punished for your transgressions against Matt. How do, is there a magic god? How does that work? In is the there Harry like Potter some universe? ethereal super Yeah, is there uh, like a god force? Might be. Is there some I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if there's like lots of lore about that universe that makes. I don't fucking know. You know what? I don't even care. Harry Potter is, um, you know, it's a thing. Uh, I heard that um, apparently the new movie that just came out is uh, expected to make less than five hundred million dollars globally. Yeah. Which is uh, that's that's. <laughs> this budget? Probably means that they're not gonna make any more. Uh, like two hundred, three hundred million, probably something like that. It's wow, that's not much at all. I guess it's almost like, what is even Harry Look Potter? The... I guess Harry Potter without Harry Potter, it's it's tough. How how far no. can you carry it? I, I don't mean, think it's that. I guess the John Depp stuff that. surely I is think... having a huge effect on it. I think it's I think it's a oh, lot of fact. Oh, is that what it once, right? Because Johnny Depp got removed from it, replaced. Oh, uh, of okay. J.K. Rowling is uh, her reputation is not great. She's in constant least, um, controversy, so yeah. Is... I mean, and that's, you can't and know I mean, that those are the two things that did it, but... I would I say know. the Johnny Depp thing matters way more than the J.K. Rowling thing. I... well, I mean, I guess... It, well, it, it depends what we mean by matters in terms of how it impacts box office, right? All that matters is what is, like, the most broadly perceived... Um, ...thing that people are aware of. But I mean, probably... it's so it's hard to say. It just seems like it's a lot of fact. And I guess as well, it's probably not even worth understating, like, um... Just maybe there's just not that much interest in Harry Potter as an IP anymore. Well, I guess you need to yeah. look at the trends on the first two. How are they doing? Um, the first one did pretty well. Second one didn't do as well. This one's doing uh, not as well again. Could so. genuinely be like if a wizard just came down and said it has nothing to do with either of those things. It's just the film is not popular, and you'd be like, oh, okay. I can believe it. I could believe could it. Could also be that it's just not good. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, oh yeah, I, I don't we know the last time that's affected quality. box office for whether or not the yeah, film is good. <laughs> exactly, you don't. It doesn't even matter anymore if a film's good. People love all kinds of fucking slop, except Morbius. I mean, Morbius. No is, one likes uh, Morbius. On Never, set to make no a more billion, right? Um, more billion. A billion. <laughs> I think you mean 
36 that, trillion. That pun was morbid. The combined GDP of, of the United States and the <laughs> Morbius. Uh, Morbius is... This is just a fun little world. cultural moment of everyone makes yeah. fun of Morbius and it immediately becomes counterculture to just be like, talk about how amazing it is. Yeah. It's just funny. I hope, I hope Jared Leto's okay. He just can't. He's been in good stuff, right? He what, has he, what has he done that's good that I'm aware of? Fight Club? It's We're seeing so Fight Club? Seen that. Yep. I'll take your word for it. It's, have, it's been so long since I've seen Fight Club. Yeah, um, he's been in what else? What else? Of, He was in the new Blade Runner. I've heard people like that. I, I liked it, I think. I can't remember much. I certainly enjoyed it a lot the first time I watched it. I thought it was a really good movie, but I'm not sure how I feel about it anymore. <laughs> yeah, I have no clue about movies the second time now, yeah. Requiem for a Dream, Dallas Buyers Club. Oh, he was in that, um, he did that fucking awesome role in uh, Suicide Squad. Yeah, that's the one. Oh yeah, and, he uh, did. He played in, uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League. Oh, that was. I don't. That Oscar snub was kind of annoying, but whatever. Dude, I I just want to see him jerk Batman off. That was like the whole thing. I don't know. Like I just that's that's. What kind of genius is a, is like told they can write that line but not show it? That's just. That's the reality we're in, I guess. Just... Slide down the bat pole, man. They ain't wrong with that. Exactly. The crazy world we're in. Oh well. Mm -hmm. Morbius. We'll watch that on EFAP movies one day. Maybe. Oh, it's no maybe. Probably. We're definitely gonna watch that on EFAP movies we one day. We're watching Morbius. Happening. Gonna... I need to know how terrible it is. I was gonna I... say, it's, it's, it's a cultural landmark. Everyone's talking about it. it so. I gotta say, like, I, I really it's like, it I feel like it's. I feel like we're just gonna watch it and it's gonna be like a typical bad movie. That's kind of what I'm Tell expecting. Tell you what, when that happens and we don't have anything to say about it, then you could say, see, I told you. Yeah, just keep it, keep it in your back pocket. Yeah, keep that one for later. Cash that check when we get to the bank. Not before. Or are we not going to the bank? Are we going to Funland where Ooh. we have our EFAP movies? You that is know. a Funland. Your check is worthless. Your check is worthless at Funland. But if we go to the bank, okay. you can cash it. Funland, there is no money. It's a post-scarcity world where there's, there's an abundance of joy. And who needs money when you've got happiness? Yeah. Except yeah. when you've got bills. <laughs> <laughs> That's just... You try to like have some deep philosophical thought. It comes at the end of like this grand story about all these different people and characters. And you're just like, who needs that when you've got this? But there's also bills. Yeah, like, well, oh. <laughs> reality comes <laughs> screaming back in. Yes, he's a bill. Great, A team is here now. Everyone go home, Kappa. A team. Those are those are Sitch and Adam memes. Get them out of here. No, that's a different thing. I know it's a different thing, but it's a. Uh... You remember the the uh, the A team movie that they made like yeah. ten years ago? Didn't they have I liked uh, it. Bradley Cooper. Yeah, and Liam Neeson. And Liam Neeson, yeah. yeah. I liked it. I thought it was fun. You're fun, rags. Yeah. <laughs> God, that yeah. film did come out ten years ago. Twenty twenty twelve was ten years ago, guys. Didn't twenty twelve come out in twenty twelve? No, yeah. it came out in two thousand nine. That's, that's, that doesn't make any really? sense. That wouldn't happen. Yeah, it fucking with me? Is that really when it no. came out? Yeah, it came out in 2009. Well, yeah, this he is couldn't wait three years? No, he Rex, needed to get The studio that couldn't close? wait three years. He, they got, they waited, they waited 2009 years and they couldn't wait three more? Well, why would you want to really sit on the day? You want to, you want to scare people and be like, this is coming. That's right, exactly. You want to get ahead of the... The, um, well, besides, I know, they wanted to make a sequel, like, 2013, if so... You, if you said 2011, and you're like, yeah, it released in, like, November of 2011, or December of 2011, I'm like, hell yeah, so that gets someone, no, someone someone excited. Put, uh, they wrote 2010. I want you to look it up, because I'm, like, very confident that it was 2009. Alright, I'm pre I'm very confident about that one. 
Well, I'm just I'm just keeping an eye. Yeah, it was 2009. Yeah. I don't know. That's one of those weird things that I'm good at is remembering the release dates of video games and films. I wish I was good at remembering important things. Let's test it out. When was Halo 2 released? 2004. Oh, all right. I have no November idea if that's correct, but all right. <laughs> no, no, yeah, it was November 2004. Couldn't give you the exact date. I know Halo 3 came out on the 25th of uh, September 2007. What about uh, the OS ODST? Uh, 2009. Same year as 2012. Coincidence? Yes, right. Uh, I think not. Uh, what about Captain America, the first Avenger? 2011. Uh, July. That's uncanny. Maybe I should go for things a little harder. Yeah, you should. Okay, uh, what about The Patriot? Th the Patriot came out, I believe... 1776! <laughs> <laughs> I believe The Patriot came out in 2000. Hmm. I actually don't know, I don't... These are not things I typically... I'm much better with um, yeah. the whole active faces and names thing. Uh, I'm not good at either of those 1957. things. Oh, sorry? I just follow uh, you along on your movie Someone adventures. asked 12 Angry Men. It's 1957. The film, I think. Yeah, hold on. Let me see the Patriot. Let me, I want to know, actually, if I got that one right. Yeah, 2000. Yeah. Nice. All right. How to get... We're entering odd mode. Okay, that was, that was right. medium mode. Uh... <laughs> I was thinking about it, I was like, no, that's too hot. Uh, Mario, Mario Kart 8 came out on Wii U in 2014. I think June. Even probably right, no, that's too easy. Uh, Saw. Saw came out in 2002, I think. I should really ask ones that I even know, because I don't even know. Well, yeah, <laughs> hold on, let me, let me double check that one. Saw, pretty sure that came out in 2002. Alright, hold on. Uh... I like how I'm just sitting here to double check. Saw. Oh, no, Saw came out in 2004. No, I was wrong. Damn. Yeah. The logo. Yeah, I guess. When, so. did, when did The Wizard of Oz come out? Uh, I think The Wizard of Oz was 1939. That's right. Oh, yeah. I. Oh, wow. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm proud of myself. Did you know they did out. a. They did a. There was a silent movie for The Wizard of Oz in 1925. I have not seen it, though. That doesn't surprise it is, me. It is often overshadowed by its... By, uh, the film, it's more yeah. culturally success, uh, successful uh, later installment. Though it was not necessarily a... It wasn't really a hit when it came out. It had a rough time when it came out. It didn't really make a lot of yeah. money. It's kind of like Blade well, Runner. Um, well, Citizen Kane, I think, wasn't like a massive success when it came out in 1940. I... But uh, but later on, it I'm pretty that did come out. In, 1917 came out in 20. Uh, well, it depends on when you count it. I think it came out in the UK in 2019. Uh, yeah, I think it's counted as a 2019 film in terms of like what is counted for theatrically. The thing by exact title. Oh wait, no, you can't do that to me. I don't, I don't know because uh, John Carpenter's that was 1982, I think. Um, but I don't know about the one before that. And then there was the reboot, and that was 2011. First appearance of Bugs Bunny was in, uh, uh, damn, it was 1940, but I can't remember the exact name. It was, uh, damn it. I actually know that one. Princess Bride, I think, wasn't, that was 1994, wasn't it? Or am I, 1996? Hmm. What about Indiana Jones, first one. Oh, 1981. Easy. And then 1984 for Temple Doom, 1989, Last Crusade, 2008, Crystal Skill. And I guess the... 2023 is the next one. I need to re Hunt for Red movies. October, what was that? Oh shit, that's uh, I think that's 1984. Alright, I'm convinced you are pretty good at this. Yeah. I, th dude, Wikipedia, Wikipedia is, like, really good. <laughs> it's just a thing to... I mean, I, I guess don't think that's the answer to that. Let's, it's just, just read that in your no, spare time? Because we all think Wikipedia is good, but I don't fucking have this encyclopedic knowledge of dates for release things. Yeah, sure, but, like, it's not... I don't think it's that useful as <laughs> a skill. Like, well, that's kind of, I don't know. you know, it's just like, I wonder how this happened. Is it just, you just like knowing this stuff? Um, I'm not sure. I think it might have just been a matter of that I, I like just retain it, it once you do incidentally learn it. Um, 
Uh, yeah, maybe. I think that's all that there was to it. It's just something I... I think it started with video games. That was something that was just... I don't know. I just knew when things came out. Like, I could tell you when all the consoles, like, released. And when a lot of games for them released. And I don't even know how I figured that out. I think... Yeah, I have no idea. Uh, like... Do you just pay attention to that detail mainly? Maybe. Um, I... I yeah, see, so someone asked, does Fring know the directors for it? Just like, yeah, that'd be a lot harder for me. <laughs> for some of them, anyway. One game I like to play that's more my speed with these sorts of why do you know this is uh, doing the thing where you... Like, you get, you're given, like, two A-list actors and you have to connect them via... There's, like, actor, movie, and then different actors ah. in that movie, and then a different movie there and until you get the other actor. Right. Uh, we're now people asking Mass Oh, Effect that reminds me of uh, the Wikipedia game. I think Zelda 2 was 1986 or 7, because the first one was 1985, same year as Metroid. Same year as a lot of things, same thing, year as Super Mario. No, Metroid was uh, 1986. No, it might. Yes, 1986. That's right. And then yeah. Metroid. Super Metroid was 1994. Metro Prime 2002, then 2, 2004, 3, 2007. And I think Fusion it is called um, Six Degrees oh, of Sonic Kevin Bacon, <laughs> but uh, you can do it with anybody, obviously. But preferably better known actors, otherwise you're not going to have any fucking movies to work with. When did Australia come out? Depends on your definitions. I mean, I guess if you were to count all of the Aboriginal cultures that were here, then it's up to 50,000 years ago, and then Australia was a colony of New South Wales in 1777, but then Federation was January 1st, 1901. Name one mo game and movie from each year for, uh, from 1990, like 1990 onwards. No. Um, <laughs> I could do that, but I mean, that's going to take forever. We got super chance to catch up on. I Did think you guys ever play the um, the game on Wikipedia? When I was, I know when I was younger, we'd play the Wikipedia game where you would each go to a random Wikipedia page. I forget how we did it, but you you went to a random Wikipedia a random page. For that, isn't there? I think I think there might be, yeah. And the object was you have the the fewest amount of pages it takes for you to get to Hitler. That's the winner, and you can only use the links that are present in the Wikipedia entries. And you have to click all of those until you got to Hitler. Yeah, no, I didn't. Do Maybe that. that was just us who played that game, but it was it was fun. It was Silence of the Lambs and Super Mario World came out in 1990. Uh, 1991's a bit harder for some reason. That's uh, it's a little bit harder to think about what would have come out in 1991. Oh well, yeah, maybe I can't do that. <laughs> I could probably do it from 2000, I think that'd be easier. Uh, oh, 91, damn. Alright, well. Uh, I mean, in any case, let's 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 get back to the super chats. On a fundraiser for Dev to get a tattoo of Hassan. That would be nice, yeah. That would be nice. Who doesn't want a tattoo of Hassan? Me. Do you think? Oh, oh, do you think ta do you think Hassan has a tattoo of Hassan? Yes. Do you think he got a tattoo of himself? Did, did, Maybe he thinks did it's Destiny normal. Or, did somebody talk to a? Is this actually a <coughs> reference that we talked about in EFAP where someone got like a tattoo of Hassan and then yeah, Chad Logic said oh, one of his yeah. views. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Now I remember. Oof, boy. That's, hey, you know that's that, love right there. Mm. They won't regret that. Every day. They will not. They won't regret that every day. I it's rags, a stain on their body like Hassan is a stain Ringo on the internet. Et al. Why say et al oh, instead of their actual names? That's disrespectful, but hello. What if their names were et, uh, al? Was well, then the punctuation was. would be wrong at that point. Yeah, I suppose it would be. Oh, unacceptable. Um, can we ban this person, please? You. Banned for misgendering. Mispersoning. Um, he thinks that al is an et. Yeah, that's fucked up. How Even right? more video game adaptations. Dwayne Johnson might star in the live-action It Takes Two film adaptation. Uh, adaptation. The, it's like that co-op game by that guy at the Game Awards who's funny. Mm -hmm. Who made a lot of games that are apparently really good. They're making a lot of, uh... Because I saw it was like a Jason Momoa's gonna star in a Minecraft movie Minecraft, well. yeah. Jesus. I don't... Yeah. I don't even know how you would adapt that into a... 
Um, I mean, I I could see you making something really cool, but I don't think that's what they're gonna make. It's kind of the same as like. <laughs> wow, well, okay. it, it is. I think. Uh, imagine yeah. if you made a Minecraft movie that was like presented in the Minecraft world and nobody talked, and it was all through like, like an animated film where there's no dialogue and it's all body language. Kind of like what I want the Mario movie to be, but I know it won't be. I'm probably gonna hate that movie. I think I can see that now. I actually so really too. like Mario. Like, I really like Mario. Mario's was a my cool guy. Beyond it, just having a lot of meme value. I actually value it a lot. Like, Mario's pretty important. He's just a plumber. Important. That's just the movie. It's just, he's just a plumber. They say, oh, he's, he's a plumber a from Italy? Fuck it. He's just... He, he, no wrong with a plumber? Just... No, there isn't anything no, wrong with a plumber. Just, you can make a whole interesting movie about him just doing a plumber life in Mushroom yeah. Kingdom. You know, what does Mario get up to in his off time? Um... But yeah, that's, I mean, I don't know, I kind of expect, I, I think that movie's, man, Illumination, <laughs> like, Nintendo were involved, but, like, Shigeru Miyamoto was a producer, which kind of makes me a little more optimistic, but, yeah. I'm looking for new work, and my uncle told me to check out a company called Noom. I was trying so hard not to laugh and have to explain an EFAP meme to someone else. <laughs> yeah, he Noom recommended Noom, uh, Noom? They're getting around, you know? A lot of, it's just a lot of advertisements and stuff. They yeah. wanted... They wanted... Um, so this guy wanted him to work at Noom? I guess so. Hmm. Another one I see around a lot is Morning Brew. That's a more recent one. Like, uh, if you watch a lot of financial YouTubers and stuff, you see, like, Morning Brew, where it's, like, a roundup of financial news for the day. Oh, which, uh, I thought it was, like, a coffee. Well, it, it, the logo is coffee, but the idea yeah. is just, like, a curation. It's like Java. Where, like, a group of people will curate the information on, like, financial markets and stuff for you. Which I can see utility in that. I guess you can do it yourself for next time. I don't know. A truck driver killed a relative of mine on a foggy night because they exited the truck stop improperly to save on time and effort. Fuck consequentialism. We'll see. Consequentialism, they would then be like, yeah, well, that means they shouldn't have done it according to consequentialism if it's going to lead to someone's death. Um, let's see, you know, I'm sorry to hear that, though. Jeez. No, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Like it's, uh, I doubt... The person who was driving felt that they were, you know, justified because like it meant they didn't have to spend as much time and effort to achieve a similar outcome or whatever. But that's just. I doubt they thought about it that much. They just wanted, well, if yeah. Please. Damn, that sucks, bro. Yeah. Already. <laughs> Love the content, gents. Jay's Doctor Who video is very solid and was super entertained by the house video. Shame Piker could not just apologize. Could be talking Noom Night. Um, yeah, it, it makes you wonder how different everything would be if Hassan had just been chill about that. Because that's a stepping yeah. stone, much like many stepping stones are, that are just his reputation has fallen apart. Um, I mean, I mean, the fact he I, had I one think, is uh, per depressing, but yeah. at least I there's think, some silver lining. So something that I, um, I've been thinking about a bit with, um, I think, like, on some level Hassan knows what he's doing, because there are, uh... The R place stuff with um with um Destiny putting the Hungarian flag <laughs> over the uh over that pixel art of his dog because like the thing he kept saying is oh yeah you destroyed my art of my dead dog oh yeah you it was my dead dog like he kept saying dead dog but I don't dog. care but I don't care but I don't care but I don't care but I don't care it's, it's just, just pixel was my dead dog and it's like I feel like he's just hitting the things that he he thinks he could have done a lot better if he knew what he was doing um. In terms of like garnering sympathy for himself but like it just feels like there was something in his brain that knew oh you should probably emphasize that your dog is dead so that way you get more sympathy for um the pixel art yeah, stuff it, it worked briefly like the place subreddit had threads being like fucking horrible yeah. of what destiny did and it's like if you watch it from destiny's destiny pov it's all a big fucking meme a, a, like it is it's hilarious oh, it's i was laughing cool. my ass off watching that so the problem that hassan had is he was laughing at the notion of blocking destiny's art you yeah. can't do that and get upset if they block your art like you don't start fights that you're not willing to have like you don't get to you don't get to slap someone in the face and then get really upset when they like punch you you know like you don't you don't get to pick fights and then just sort of like get upset and like oh why'd you do that to me like i don't know don't pick like god damn <laughs> i thought you wanted to play this game 
Well, what are you are happy talking about? Well, not if I can oh, lose. Exactly. Oh. It's, it's pretty it simple. It's out. You you like the idea of destroying someone else's work, but you really don't like it when it happens to you. Um, yeah, well, my like, work is mine, though. Well, the way that he would justify it is, oh, well, Destiny's art was just whatever. Mine's of my dead dog. Like, um... It's... He made the flag of those cockroach Europeans. Wow, remember... He was so, like, vicious Bilty. when he... Remember the clip? Yeah, like, all of these harsh words. Yeah, like, he, like, really dude. hates the Hungarian people on some deep level. I'm like, Jesus Christ, calm down. I think, I think it's actually less specific than that. I think he just wanted to insult the guy and knew he was Hungarian and try to use that, because... It's like, <laughs> Jesus, man. Which is just like, you're just a bad person. <laughs> like, this is wow. as simple as it is. Yeah. But hey, top of the political Twitch. Uh, I don't know if you guys know mm -hmm. about the recent one. It's just the, the shit is basically and the private jet to Coachella. Like, he's having to deal with that. Oh, right. yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Plus $1,100, right? Like a Gucci shirt or something. Fucking insanity. I don't even... Yeah, I don't understand spending, like, more than... Dude, like, I don't know. If, if it costs more than, like, a full-blown suit, I don't understand it. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't get it. Like, any shirt, just regular button-up shirt, you're spending more than, like, $100 on just seems odd to me. I just love that, you know, like, I seek out criticism. I use it for content. It's like, mate, you can run in, run in as fast as you can. We gotta mm -hmm. be able to escape the internet. A private jet to that would cost a lot of money, right? Like, a oh, private, for sure, yeah. That, that costs like what's like, the thing, man? He's, he's just drowning in money. No, so, sorry, he's working class and he went on a private uh, jet to Coachella at his one thousand yeah, dollar shit. Is, <laughs> okay, sure, that's got to be a moment of like, I wonder if like a working class person has ever even flown like business class, let alone private jet. Private jet. That's oh man, that it oh jeez. <laughs> uh. Here we are, like sitting on a dinky little stream. Me playing some Mario Kart Double Dash. We're not in the private plane, but you know what? Some I don't need to be. You know Something what? I really liked in uh, Double Dash was like these cities. I always remember when I played it. Like I wondered what the world looked like. You know, the the like Mario Kart world and how it functioned. I, I always found this course really neat. It's like a real city in the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah. Cool world. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Rags, you can Kinda be here. Yeah. You just have to stop ruining Grandma. No. I and, know. And it's funny you say that because they follow up then immediately with no, 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 don't leave, stay, just don't ruin Grandma again for the fourth time, Hyrax. You can't keep getting away with it. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> also, hello. Oh, also, uh, it's Hitler's birthday. It's 420. Okay. I can't believe I didn't notice that before. I just, I just, I don't know, I just noticed. Uh, did you know the font for Hassan's social media on stream is not called Impact, but Luckiest Guy? Uh, That's the name for the font he uses? That's pretty funny. Luckiest Guy? Jeez. Wow. That's that accurate. Right. Yeah. <laughs> the luckiest Guy indeed. Can you imagine him? Can you imagine someone like Hassan being born in this in Uruk? Right? The birth of civilization. Imagine him being born in, you know, the 1600s. Like, how would you... What what do you have to offer that... You know, how do you survive? I don't know, man. I think he would be... His survival rates would go up the further back you go into, like, caveman times. I think so. I think he would... Because oh? he's perfectly suited to just try and hit people with a stick and take this stuff. <laughs> Ah, uh, maybe that is the case. You wouldn't have to worry about the morality of it. You just know it's his. And then as soon as someone tries to do it to him, he'd use his strength to be like, actually, I don't like it when you do it to me. Yeah, because um, the modern world's a little more complicated. You have to try and navigate through it. Like, you have to... Because it's less about 
I oh no, saber tooth tiger run. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know why I'm like downplaying. Early humans were like really uh impressive, capable. Yeah, they were really. Um, they well, it's likely that on average they were actually like smarter than we were. That they had bigger brains and just a better capacity for um understanding things and making tools. We know more, but like they were, they were just all around well-rounded, um, like really uh sound people, I guess, in terms of their ability to take care of themselves and learn things and do things because they just had to be. J eight cardboard. It was super effective. Yeah, it has been. Uh, the amount it can trip up them lot as well is. It, it, I don't know why they have so much issue with someone eating a cardboard pizza, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. I guess you know. Oh, this says okay. ER is alive. That's true. For those who don't know, he it's released a video. Yes. He was so upset by the Halo show that he made a video about episode one. Um, he got fucking struck down like three times in a row, but he's, um, I think it's up now, so. That, uh, hmm. Yeah, that, I wonder, is it difficult to, like, actually do, like, Halo show coverage? Just follow the usual rules and you should be fine. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess I would be fine if I wanted to make, like, a Halo video. If I wanted to do that. We'll see, when we do coverage of it, I'm just gonna... Do the usual rules for the EFAP stream as well. I still can't believe we did three full arcane streams, complete with clips and uh, lots of visuals, and I wasn't dinged for copyright at all. They want you to share the good news. Maybe. Azan doesn't offer entertainment, he offers entertainment. Oh, oh shit. Nice. Oh, oh. got him. Pum also, pum. hi, Doggo and Frogo. Oh, hello. Hassan is beating the shit out of that jelly man. Oh yeah, we said he's like a jelly man instead of a straw man, because it's like, you can't even stand. No, he's just that like, blah, leave me be. <laughs> just a pile of jelly in the vague shape of a human on the ground. And he's just beating it, like, fuck you. You filthy... I already agreed with you, fuck you! <laughs> filthy jelly. <laughs> <laughs> filthy European jelly. <laughs> Filthy Filth? jam person. Filthy is just a really harsh word. It's kind of like an odd thing to call anybody a filthy. It only evokes you know? some things in your head of like, yeah, where, it's where like calling someone this? vermin, you know? Yeah. A little bit, yeah. Uh, someone stop him. He's dragging them out back of the glue factory, lining them up against the wall and banning them. He's mad with power. Hello, Rags. Hello. To be fair, they were uh, criticizing him. Yeah. yeah. So well, some of them. <laughs> some of them were. <laughs> some of them were just like, "Oh man, you really think like banning him was the right move?" And he's just like, "Well, you're bad too." What was like the lowest level of banning? I think someone Person said he said was... they didn't hate their life. Oh yeah, that'd be it. Right. <laughs> don't hate your life, banned. I don't hate my life, banned. And say keep, and that was when he said keep hating. Or am I mixing them up? Keep hating your life, working class, Andy. Yeah, that was a different thing, but same sort of attitude. I just, I'm, I'm working class. Keep hating your life, working class. <laughs> it's so perfect. <sighs> On your way to the glue factory, an animal farm. The horse that was sent to the glue factory was the hardest worker and most faithful of all the animals in the farm. Yep. Hassan going That's on that right. rant in front of the communist flag. Hassan is, uh, he's, he's such a oh. character, you know? What can you say? The mm -hmm. horse was the, he was the one who believed in the cause, and he worked hard, and he gave everything he could, because he was legitimately, he, he was, he was, he was, he was pure in a sense, and they, they took advantage of his willingness to follow the party and to work hard. They, they took advantage of him, and once he stopped being useful, they got rid of him. Um, good nuggies. Good day, but with good nuggies, nice. Good nuggies, I like that. Good nuggies. Why does Hassan look like Nuggy Discount Kylo Ben? No, oh, Farquad. <laughs> okay. Kylo Ben is an ancient meme. That one takes it. That one is yeah, yeah. old. We had Logic Don. He was there for that one. I felt kind of bad for him. Oh, he had wow. to talk about Star Wars for like five hours. He's, uh, he's too cool for Star Wars, okay. 
Very cool. Hassan is a power-hungry control freak who revels in others' misery. He looks for an opportunity to be a horrible person. Kinda. Um, I think he just, it sort of comes to him naturally. I don't think he realizes. He's just a kind of a cruel person. Yeah, I don't know. It's unfortunate because he's of that age and he's learned so many horrible behaviors. You're just like, is he ever going to unlearn that shit? And you're like, hmm. Nope. You guys are all in my top billion people. Nice. Oh, nice. The Sandpiker <laughs> can't even self-reflect if his entire house was a hall of mirrors. Well, you... He's a vampire. <laughs> uh, I think I think it's about him being, you know. Yeah, no, stupid. Yeah, but that would be funny if it was because he was a vampire. That that's the that's the the surprise at the end of the joke. He kind of is a vampire think it's though, because he's dumb. He just sucks the content out of everything around. Yeah, yeah. Because vampire is just such a great word to describe a person who is a fucking parasite. <laughs> like, wow, I wonder why that is. Mm, yeah, I wonder. Um, for you, the day your village was visited by the great M. Bison was the most important day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. Hassan Bison. I'm sure he feels that way regarding people complaining about him reacting. Like, this was some a big event for you, but, you know, for me, it was just some random fucking video that I threw on. And now you lose that privilege. Absolutely, I think that's how he thinks of it. Because he's a bit of an egotist. Oh, just him. a bit. That's the thing. I, I do believe there are many mirrors in his house. So he can uh, look at himself all day. Look at how amazing I am. Look at this nice shirt. <laughs> God, Hassan mirror, is such a massive tool. I'd use harsher language, but Susan's dainty ears are listening. Oh, it's very clear what, what you guys are feeling about Hassan at this point with these super chats. I'm getting an impression, you know? Mm-hmm. Wow, watching this makes it clear. Hassan only learns by stimulus slash response like a flatworm. <laughs> <laughs> the insult to flatworms. Yeah, just doing their bit. best down there. They're just doing what they can, you know? They're doing their, their little, best. Exactly. Their proto-life, light-sensitive spots on their heads. And oh, they're just, oh, man. They're trying. They are. They're doing the hustle. Those flatworms are... Hustling. They really are. Mola, use bully main theme when covering Hassan. That's... yeah. <laughs> Could have done. It's a bit late now, but yeah. Uh, watching these three idiots Next is akin time. to standing in the middle of the lake of Aeonia. Hey! In Elden oh, Ring. Painful and I can smell a bit of rotting flesh. Oh no. It's Hassan's brain. It could be. It's like uh, a vestigial uh, organ. That's the word I was looking for the other day. I'm gonna make a note of that. Vestigial. I kept, like, I was like, what is the word for, like, a superfluous organ? But I was like, that's not it. Or a thing. I'm pretty sure that's the one anyway. I'm writing that down now. Part of the thing I'm writing. Organ. Oh, oh, is it for your... For whatever for it what? is I may be writing. Who knows? Whatever it is you're doing. Um... Yes, it's it's it is funny to think that a like Hassan's brain is like a snake's pelvis. You know, <laughs> they're just these purely vestigial parts of the body that serve no purpose, and they've lost all function. It's like a, it's the first thing his body would consume if he was starving. So yeah. Like, well, it's like. <laughs> the... <laughs> uh, video game controller dances goofily under the word "woot." That is the emote, I guess. Yeah. No, that's the comment. That's the, those are the words that they said. Mm -hmm. um, showing some support. Hilarious. Last week was amazing with the stupid Twitch girl. Can't wait to watch this one on playback. I the expect a lot of love. Twitch girl. I mean, that's, that's, that's a kind way of putting it. Uh, Hassan Piker is a tear raw wrist. Oh, I get it. I wouldn't go that far. Fucking hell. But he's a he's no, an idiot. Terrorist. He's a he's a terrible list. Yeah. He's bad. Oh. <laughs> the portable furnaces were allegedly used to 
Get rid of bodies of both Ukrainian politicians and Russian soldiers to cover up the losses. I have no idea what would have prompted that super chat. I have no clue. But all right. A team reign supreme. I'm not getting involved in this war between Adam and Sitch, okay? That's, that's, hey, not yeah. taking a side is taking a side. Um, I take the side of love. And if that's wrong, then you I, Wonder I'll Woman? be wrong. Or is that the truth? Oh, okay, that's Wonder Woman, the side of the truth. Mm -hmm. Oh, Hassan just threatened to dock someone now? Is he literally just evil, dude? I don't even. This is just getting worse and worse. Hi, Rags. Um, Hi. I like to... I always hesitate to call anybody evil, because <laughs> it's like... It's I think if he had more... If he was the leader of a small country, he would be evil. Because yeah, like, he'd do terrible, terrible things. The more moral stuff a, people do, the easier it becomes to just say they're fucking evil. But like, legit, he's just hes just a bad person, and as a result of probably very oh, yeah. poor understanding of ethics. Definitely uh, a bad person. And, I think it's just an aspect of he doesn't have the power to do a lot of the evil things he would otherwise do. Because if he was, he was like, like the like, dictator of like a, a Cuba or some small island, think about all the things that he would just do, because yeah. he could. And with well, his and attitude. He's like been spoiled his, his whole life. And it's like, it's, there's loads of psychology on this. It's just like, that's just what happens. When you get everything exactly the way you want, there's just no reason for you to actually uh, deal with consequence. Just, you only ever get angry when things don't go exactly the way you want them to. Bratty. Uh, <clears throat> hi, Rags. Hello. Rags, you're our dirty little Indel duck. I don't know what Our that is. dirty little indel duck? Mutually, you're, um, you're short. Oh. Uh, this just, it just says fringy question mark after that. Oh. Uh, Meh. Uh, Adam, you're okay. Sitch is bad. Dev is weeb. Hi, Rags. <laughs> Hi. I still don't know what an indel duck thing. That's not a thing. I, I googled it. That doesn't seem to be an indel duck. So, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I've been harassing Sish and Adam for years with chats. Fair enough. Call it Twitch the First Circle of Hell. I ended up settling on a name that was just very straightforward in terms of what's in the video. Um, but yes, lots of good ideas. Clips could be called EFAP Post Nut Clarity. Um, it should be called Post Fap Clarity. I just I don't know what I would go with if we were Eclipse Chat. Hassan really is the worst of humanity. The way he thinks... Oh, sorry. Yeah, I guess that, that is the break of the sentence. He treats his subs and critics if he had the power, he'd be on par with the worst dictators. Hey! Um, because you wouldn't want to, like, the worst thing you ever do to someone online wouldn't necessarily be extrapolated out into what you would do if you were uh, suddenly the leader of a country, but I really do think you'd be a fucking terrible leader. Uh, would do a lot of people get hurt. Um, Twitch the, the Dark Descent, moment. you're welcome. Ooh, that's not a bad one. Not a bad name. Um, you guys eat boners. Love ya. Nice. Yeah, all right, thank you. I love me some boners. Hi, Efap. If you want to insult him in Turkish, I can help you guys. I'm Turkish and I hate Hassan. Also, hi, Rax. You well, know what? Those we are the might requirements, need that for later. Uh, You're all terrible people. Hassan is the bestest ever. Who else is going to make me feel smart? Well, can he really that make you true. feel smart? Because, like, when you're smarter than, like, a doornail, it's like, well, yeah, yes. Nice. What's the difference between a nail and a door nail? Well, hmm. Well, uh, I don't know. Assume the door nail like, specialized for the door. Just a nail in a door? Or maybe just a, a nail that's in a door? Could be. Yeah, maybe that's all it is. It's like, it is just a regular nail, but in a door, it's like, well, door nail now. In specific, yeah. It's mm. like a person, but if a person's born in America, they're an, an American person. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, carry on. Call it JX's Inferno. Yeah, it's applicable, yeah. I can see it. Um, 
I don't know. I don't think Dante was being punished when Virgil showed him hell. Because I feel like Jay was, but Jay was taken advantage of, and he was punished in a way by these people. I think it's broad enough. Terrible that it can be interpreted as yeah, simply maybe, just yeah. a place of a journey shown through a, a terrible place. place. Of, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's fair enough. Uh, Hassan, attack of the cat boys. Yeah, the cat boy almost destroyed Hassan. He, he went nuts on the, that poor cat boy. Darth Hassanius, Chronicles of Nepotism. Yeah, you got lots of creativity with these names. I am Fringulus, Hungus, Bungie, Bungus. Rolls off the tongue. Yeah. I have no idea why they said that, but I, I agree with Good it. Luck. Good luck putting that on a birthday cake. It just says Chairman Now. Is that a name for a video, potentially? Or is it Chairman Now? I don't know. Hmm. Well, I guess, yeah, I think so, instead of Chairman Mao. Oh, yeah, that, that, that lines up, yeah. actually. Uh, the Divine Copody. Nice. Not bad. The Haunting of Hassan House. A sangry piker. I'm reading stories about barbarians from Conan to Genghis Khan. They're actually fairly smart. Don't insult them by comparing them to Hassan's hissy fit. Loving the arc, by the way. Well, barbarian is a is a has colloquial meaning. It doesn't have to refer directly to anyone who is also considered a barbarian historically. Don't worry about it. I'm sure Genghis Khan was far more intelligent than Hassan. Nobody's disputing that. Fun fact, Hatsagopateryx did eat sauropods as life on the island of Hatsag. Uh, oh, wow. Made these giants shrink to human size. Uh, Teryx is the one with big head and short neck. Alright. Okay, yeah. well. Alright. The three musca-stealers. Musca musca-stealers. It is, a, is it a coincidence that the stinky, toxic, filthy, bipedal rat mutant from League of Legends is also called Twitch? Good. <laughs> 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 uh, I mean, I literally was harassed by an entire player base on a server in an MMO because I told a bunch of PvPers to go screw themselves. I'm, uh... Gonna bet she got nothing in comparison. Oh, that's probably about Denim saying that she's gotten harassment. Um, well, one of the ones she cited to Jay on Twitter was someone just being critical. So, uh, yeah, it was we very. Obviously, oof. A lot of us have just different ways of viewing what we would consider harassment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the snowflake melts at the mildest of heat. Gentlemen. Welcome to Twitch streamers. Eh, that's, that's kind of what that arc was. Hope you had fun. Pringles, you are so precious. Don't know what that was in relation to. But... It's you. Well, sure, but all right. All right. Hassan Piker, the world is yours edition. Very feels the world that way. is mine edition. Um, not engaging in the rape analogy is the sign of outpacing your opponents intellectually. Bill Gans, Bag Bo, the Apex Homosexualoid. That Bill Bag, he knew what he was talking about. The R Cage. Alright. Uh, this lol cow comp is sending me. I haven't laughed this hard in a long time. Bless you, long man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <clears throat> Uh, Fringy seems to really like animals. Rags, if I want to date a Fringy, is it wise to take that bird to the zoo? Absolutely take him to the zoo. Zoos are great, because if you want to date a Fringy, Fringy loves animals. And what's at the zoo? That's right, animals. Well, it seems like a cheat animals code almost, doesn't it? Yeah, mm. animals are great. It really kind of is a cheat code. <laughs> it's a life hack. Uh, two stalker bucks for the EFAP boys. Thank you very much. Ooh, nice. 
Uh, if people's brains were engines, Hassan's is a hamster in a wheel, but the wheel is locked up in rust and the hamster's been dead for 15 years. Just 15? I feel like it might be more than that. I have asked some artists I know about the paid and exposure argument, and let's just say they had some choice words. Dude, everyone has choice words for that at this point. Paid and exposure is, is uh, not something you want to be caught saying, really. Yeah, there we are. But even Hassan has the brain cells to actually realize he probably shouldn't have said it. Even Hassan. Impressive. Um, I've asked... Oh, wait, yeah. Uh, Jacob slams laptop. What you bring me? Hassan slams table. That's not what... I didn't... Uh, slams table. I didn't say that, Biden. Oh, yeah, the... the when he punched the... Everything I said about Biden was fucking true. Oh, man. So mad. He was so mad. EFAP crew, do you use headphones or speakers? Headphones. Of course. I don't use either. Absolutely. Earphones. Yeah, I had to do that for a couple of days while I was waiting for my new headphones to come in. I did not like it. I like it. Headphones. I am. So reverse. like the little things that you stick into your ears? Yeah. Oh, you like those? Yeah, I get a lot of discomfort from headphones. I always have. Huh, interesting. Did try for a while. It didn't work out. Uh, Hassan is like Lalo Salamanca from Better Call Saul. Um, and do you mean because he's evil? <laughs> like, cause, like, I'm not sure what else you connected because uh, Hassan ain't as smart as Lalo. Certainly, certainly not. You know that quote starting, stating that everyone has their hits and misses? I never thought this wouldn't apply to anyone, but here we are. Well, yeah, I haven't been uh, witness to anything that relates to Hassan where I've gone like, nice, good job. Well, yeah, because it's not enough to state something that's like obviously true. I feel like it's a matter of, especially if you're a political commentator, have you ever said something that's like, huh? Hmm, interesting, you know, like that kind of thought. Which I, yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to be mean, but I just don't think he's capable of saying something where I go, oh, wow, nice. No, I, I don't really think so either. Uh, where did you learn to steal content? On a farm. Great job editing this clown destroying himself, Mubes. Hail the panel. Twitch had its chance and high rags. Hello. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, high school you mentality? Hard, what kind of high school did you go to, Serge? People in high school are way smarter than this. Hassan is on kindergarten level. Um, What kind of kindergarten did you go to? <laughs> <laughs> we all try to steal each other's like milk and cookies and shit. Here's two dollary dues to celebrate being done. Nice. Celebrate being done. I wonder if... That means we're at the end of the Hassan compilation at that point. I don't know. Very well may be, but I'm not sure. You never know. You Is never it ever know. over? Probably not. Re-upload on my birthday. What a gift. Yeah, Damn. no problem. There you go. This trilogy has been excellent. Jay is the best bait. As I've said before, a lot of Jay's traps were, like, completely accidental and as a result of Jay trying to be a good person, so... It's, it's like a Looney like, Tunes cartoon yeah, where yeah. the person, the animal being chased is just going about their life and incidentally something they do ends up in the coyote or whatever, mm -hmm. falling or, yeah. Hassan is the anti-EFAP, never pause a frame, NPAF. NPAF. Evil EFAP. Uh, driving from Phoenix to Houston, thanks to the entertainment and keeping me awake. No problemo. You bet. Yeah, yeah. Must be a bizarre kind of experience, right? To like go for like nine hour drives and you listened to one podcast. Like, huh. Because, hmm. um, yeah. I assume it can happen for people who are driving, but it can happen for myself. I assume for you guys as well, where you're just like you're talking about a subject and then you go, wait, what? We're at five hours? When did. What? Yeah. Sometimes it happens. You realize, oh shit, we've just been mouthy. Yeah. Time flies when you're having fun, as they say. Uh, this is more frustration than the TRO video. Well, 
Um, I suppose that would be the thing for like the fappies every year if we ever actually engage in something the like fappies. that. Would be what is the worst video we've covered? And it's just like it does. I guess proximity to coverage makes it feel worse. But like, I wonder what people would vote at this point. What is the worst thing? It's hard to tell because some things, like if someone said that Denim's was worse than Hassan, I'd totally understand. Yeah, I think you can make the argument. Just that. What kind of, what gets to you? Mm -hmm. Um, forgive me for my cringe. You are forgiven. You are forgiven. Go forth and cringe no more. <laughs> <laughs> Your, you penance actually... is to po your penance is to post 15 pepes. Uh, couldn't you actually sue him for the Nazi stuff? I'm pretty sure we could, except for the fact that I don't think he ever directly names us. Um, yeah. So, it's kind of... It's weird. Yeah, you'd have to do a lot of stuff to show in court that it had actually really impacted you in a well, that's, way. That's one of the big aspects of defamation is you need to, well, then again, it depends on which country you're in. Because especially shame. now, everyone's calling everyone a Nazi. Well, I say because it seems to be mostly a one-way street, but yeah, it just doesn't happen as a thing. I'll steal a thousand videos before I let my channel die. <laughs> Good movie. Remember how awesome the dinosaur seasons of Earth were? I never no, watched them. No, I don't. I never watched them, yeah. I just know the new one's coming out, and I'm going to want to jump on that. Oh. Yeah. Is that, that's the BBC one, right? Earth? Yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, it's called something else. Yeah, I can't remember um, what it's called. The big shtick with this one is they're trying a lot harder to make the uh, dinosaurs look like they probably would have. Which is um, really cool, because we I, I need that in my life. No, I did see someone say that the T-Rex was pretty woke, because it was a little bit flimpier. Mm, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Like, please, can you just, like, escape the vortex of politics, please? I just want to see dinosaurs. I don't care if there's some floof on the T-Rex. Fine. I like more accurate to reality. Uh, yeah, um, well, because like as far as I'm aware, the they did everything they th they thought was accurate back when they made like Jurassic Park. They um, did because yeah, but now we know a lot more. Well, yeah. we know more. <laughs> it's uh, it's hard when you're looking that far back into history. The bubonic plague season was garbage, though. Oh, about planet Earth, maybe, or, or, or something else. I don't know. Anti-rat propaganda. That's the current great. season is also trash, but it has a few good episodes. Honestly, the previous season had a lot more intense stuff happen with the World War arc. I have no idea what's happening. What are we talking about? I do not know about the World War arc. Apparently this is all to do with how awesome the dinosaur seasons of Earth were. I don't think the dinosaurs ever did a World War or pl bubonic plague. So maybe these are different different seasons yeah, of the big I'm show? Not, I'm not sure. I might be just missing on my history, but... I remember learning about... Uh, them using dinosaurs in World War II, and this is this part of what inspired uh, Falling Kingdom. You know, when they were, yeah, they were talking yeah. about how that's a viability, and yeah, mm -hmm. that's a very good idea. Yeah. Um, Hassan is boiling my blood. I'm an author. My stories have been stolen and put up on Amazon before they were published on my blog. Yeah, but... Yeah, but, you know, our story. <laughs> our story. <laughs> I steal a th oh yeah, uh, Frongo's explosion was glorious. Stream highlight. I think the um the timestamps that I pinned actually have that as one of the timestamps. Like Fringy's ran because <laughs> toward the end there you were you were losing your uh you were at your wits end. Yeah. Uh, that's not fun. Certainly in the moment, I think you'd probably have said that. I think you did say that's the worst thing we've covered on the show, right? I think it might have been. Yeah, might be, but. What do you think, uh, Rags? As for, oh, sorry, Worse. someone sent me a video about uh, the, the Riddler. What's the worst person we covered? No, like the worst, worst video. Just, I guess whole stretch of content we had to. Like, stretch of content in terms of an arc or of oh, a. I mean, if we if we're calling it an arc, it probably does take the cake, right? Of uh, this one, I, I think so. Yeah. yeah maybe. Uh, hmm. 
I don't know if I'm... Oh, gosh, I mean, there's so many... I just don't know. Useless. However, uh, I'm gonna get a drink. I'll be right back. I need to wet my whistle. whistle. Here's the title for the video of the three supercuts. Cacophony of Psychopathy. Psychopathy, I guess. Uh, cheeky and greedy. Cheeky and greedy. Does that summarize all three of them? Because I, I really did like... The one I came close to using was um, a couple people. It was in top comments for a couple of them, but it's like a Narnia thing. Like the Chronicles of Twitch streamers or something. And then it was the, the Liar, the Witch... And the Nuggies, I think, was the... Which, I, I, I like it as a, a series of... It is pretty, pretty funny. Maybe I'll change it to that one day. Why not? Oh man, someone has sounded my Connect 4 joke. Um, I'm trying to remember. I remember Connect 4 and it being brought up. Oh yeah, that's right. The denims... Or oh, it was like Hassan... Yeah, couldn't win a game in Connect 4 if they had five no opening <laughs> turns. <laughs> Did Hassan just say someone making clips of things he said was slander? Um, yeah, well, he says, um, I let you have my clips. I let you know, he said, he said you steal my clips. And don't make me DMCA you if you're gonna, like, do it negatively, basically. Like, he only wants you to do it if you're gonna do it positively, which is kind of funny to think about in terms of all this as a modifier. As if we'll get any fucking insight from him on this, though. Yeah. Any of you had a chance to see Sonic 2 yet? Not as good as 1, IMO. Glad you guys fixed Twitch. About time someone did that. Y'all should go back on Adam and Sitch. It's been too long. Also high rank. Um, yeah, we'll probably end up well, back on there at some point. And yes, you did. Uh, I can't remember. Did you say it was better or worse than the first one? I can't remember the first one well enough to say. Hmm. Um, well, there you go. And you got, uh, Fringy's coverage of it. I was on the previous EFAP. Go have a look. Yeah. Did Jonah Hill base his Brundon character on this guy? Brundon? I don't know who that is. What, what, what character that is, I'm afraid. Yeah. Uh, just got out of Sonic 2 showing. Tis true cinema. Naturally. Does Jay's plush have anime eyes or hentai eyes? I'm afraid I don't know the difference. I'm gonna continue not knowing the difference for a long time, hopefully. Hello, Mubishly. I'm currently watching all the EFAPs in order and enjoying all the tismas very much. I'm currently on 59 at 4 hours, 32 minutes, and 4 seconds and counting. Can't wait to catch up. Well, good luck, and I'm glad, glad you're doing it. Glad you're doing it. Um, I actually uh, need to go for a moment. I should be back within minutes, though I will say okay. we have caught up with the Hassan EFAP Super Chats. Oh! Done and done. Okay, cool. Next up yeah, will be yeah. the catch-up that we started those on. So I'll do that as soon as I come back. Enjoy the sultry sounds of this pause menu, everyone, and possibly Fringy talking to you in chat. I don't even know. BRB. So I guess I'm the only one here, aren't I? Uh, it's much for me to entertain. Uh... <laughs> I, I I play a J video and that's that's a thought. I can't dance. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I can't. It's just a it's just a little little picture of my face. Have you caught up on the Halo show? No, I haven't. I'm uh I'm only up to episode two, but I've seen parts of um episodes three and four. Oh boy. Uh. That whole show has been a pretty painful experience, I gotta say. It's like... Especially when you've got a show... I feel like a broken record at this point, but when you've got a show that's, like, based <sighs> on an IP that's super-duper rich, it's, um... And then you just decide to discard basically everything that was really cool about that IP. Oh, are you talking so, about Halo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just it what is frustrating about it to me like yeah it's, um, that it was based on something really cool that was made by people with less resources who weren't professional writers <laughs> and um yeah i told uh, someone halo is not a complex thing it's just executed very well 
it's not that complex on its face it's actually really simple but if you dig deeper there's a lot more to it whereas it feels like with the show they're almost trying to like be look at how deep we are on its face but it's actually kind of like less deep <laughs> at least so far but who knows maybe everything turned around in the two episodes afterward i highly doubt it um regale us on the tale of the great emu war i can't remember all the details off the top of my head um all i remember is that they had lewis guns and that wasn't good enough <laughs> uh what hurts more halo 5 or the show probably halo 5 um halo 5 is canon um as much as they've tried to pretend and again i didn't even beat halo infinite um do you think you're ever gonna Nah, nah. I don't feel <laughs> I, how, I'm, how many I'm hours not... did you play in the campaign? Is it like long or is it just tedious? I think I, played, I, think I was like halfway through, maybe. Um, I think yeah. what I started to realize was that um, the open world kind of isn't that, it's not that impressive to me. Um, like it's a cool sandbox, I guess, but as an open world, it's not, it's not hugely. Like this would be great in Forge. It would be a really good Forge area, for sure. Um, but it ain't, because Forge doesn't exist yet. I guess it's funny to think about when you think about, like, Forge World. You know, Forge World is, like, this big environment that was very deliberately designed to have a certain set of um, locations yeah, that would the... be useful for different game types and, and maps. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That, that was a really good idea. Um, and maybe that's what you could do with, like, the Halo... I guess it's just... Halo Infinite's open world is um one biome, like it's just the one place. It's really <sighs> like there's it's not much fatigue. diversity. Uh, well, yeah, I guess it's just that when you think about Halo One, again, a game made with appreciably fewer resources that had like several different biomes that you could explore. Yeah, you had like snow, the beach with the silent and beaches, and the forests, swamps. and you had yep swamps and yeah the snowy areas and then of course just like the forerunner oh, the interiors i mean you got the forerunner facilities in the open world for sure but like i think um something that's been floated around and apparently it's been leaked and and uh there are a couple of details that have been leaked of the battle royale mode in halo infinite yeah that's I, what um, i've heard i kind of wouldn't be surprised if the halo infinite open world is the uh is like the backdrop for that that's the map for um that's what a lot of people have been saying as you know in the last months they've been saying you know playing a lot of this halo thing this really seems like a battle royale map based off of how big it is and the spaces and how the buildings are very deep exactly exactly things like the, that the buildings are big enough for a couple of rooms to find some items and boxes or things that would be hidden in there but i mean as for a, a place it's um yeah like it doesn't i don't know if it feels like a deliberate open world area as opposed to a place that was designed for um for uh oh and that's something i'm remembering too you remember that tech demo that was like the reveal for this game and how it had a desert and it had oceans and stuff it's just not in the game <laughs> like i know it was three years ago so like four years ago nearly so we all forget about it but like that i don't know like something obviously went wrong with that game um and I think what I realized when I was playing is, oh, I'm not, like, invested in Halo anymore in terms of its story now. Like, it's kind of done. Halo 5 kind of killed it. Um, yeah. So I, I'm kind of, yeah. And I guess, yeah, Halo 5 is more, because, like, at least with the show, for as bad as it is, um, it can easily be sort of separated. Like, it's not, it's not part of the Halo canon. It's, like, its own little separate shit thing. Whereas Halo 5... For as much as I've tried to ignore it, like it happened and it's terrible. Yeah, I it's mean, a game like surrounded by games. Playing. You know, a game is it, what it is. It's not separated exactly. by being not a game. Yeah. Um, two thirds of the campaign was cut in infinite. Yeah, that wouldn't that's a lot though. Because I mean, Halo 2 was kind of notorious for how much content they had to cut, but it wasn't two thirds of the game, it was like a third. It was the ending, really. But like two thirds of the campaign being cut, it's like goddamn, something just went wrong with that game. They spent too long working on that engine that apparently has a lot of issues with it, and it's, I don't know, yeah, something went wrong. Snoop Dogg got added into Call of Duty Vanguard and Warzone yesterday. 
Like because that's that's just I guess that's just what that that game is just it's this bill it it's like a, a more serious Fortnite. But I mean, I guess uh, is there not like a is there not a really like uh, element to a World War II game that has characters in like crazy costumes, like running around doing these like oh look at these sick executions and all that? Is that not like a little off? You know, like I know what you something. Mean. I know what you mean. Because that's that's what Vanguard is, right? It's like, oh, look, it's about special forces. Like, in, yeah, it's... and I've seen the trailers, and it's got them doing like running around in open, not utilizing cover, like three people taking on a whole garrison, and it always feels really awkward to me because it's like, I don't know, man. Like, what? Like World War Two was a lot of people working together, logistics, a whole bunch of soldiers. Like, it, it's it's not about like one or two like crazy sick Super moves and, types, and yeah. flips and stuff. Yeah. But it's kind of like that's the structure of these games is you need to have characters who have their like crazy skins because that's 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 like how you monetize these games. And it gets really hard to do that if you don't have hyper unique special super duper characters that people, you know, like um latch onto. It's uh, it, yeah, it's a, yeah, it depends on how far into the hero shooter aspect you want to go because you want to be able to distinguish enemies and what they're capable of based mm -hmm. off of appearance but at the same time it takes away from you know how much does that fit within the framework of the kind of game that you're making if you build it from the ground up and you make your apex legends or whatever where it's about specific characters who have specific abilities that you know and can identify at a distance that's fine but if it's like a, a world i feel like a world war ii game that's supposed to be like a battle royale it's i guess I know, that's just, um kind of the funny thing about all this is it feels like my ability to get immersed has decreased dramatically because in modern warfare 2 they're just soldiers they're just you know they're just soldiers running around and of course there were duplicates of like the characters but they were just soldiers part of whatever faction like there used to be teams that made sense for the location that you were in yeah. um but now it is just like a whole bunch of like hero characters running around in crazy skins it's it's um like the i don't know if i call it the death of art style but it's certainly like the death of cohesion um like in universe it's just getting harder and harder it's like it is a video game space this is not yeah but i mean it makes money right so that's makes a lot of money like a billion dollars a quarter or something or like a, or a year at least and um yeah it's kind of a mm, yeah i don't know I want a Gandalf skin. <laughs> yeah, well, that's probably only a matter We're of not. time. When do we get a Lord of the Rings Battle Royale? All in good time. Yeah, that, that, that may well happen. So it's, Master Chief is still in hypersleep on the forward Hunter Dawn. Halo 4, 5, and Infinite are just a horrible nightmare. Yeah, that's honestly, like, the best way to... <laughs> that's honestly... That has to be the way that you would treat it. 1 through we Reach, it's so full circle, and then 4 just lumbers in... God damn. Uh, have we all seen Moon Knight or not yet? Um, well, episode four is out now, right? And that's the one that everybody's saying is the game changer, the massive, incredible, awesome episode that makes everything awesome. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll Heard see that, that ten times before. I've seen screenshots posted on Twitter. It's like, it seems like it's kind of insane. Um, but I... I that's kind of my, I always wonder if it's like, that's the reason why people are talking about how awesome it is, because it's like insane and weird, rather than because it explains everything. Um, so, we'll, we'll have to see about that. That's that about every episode. Well, something you may have noticed as a trend is it seems like generally every single Marvel show as it's coming out is the one that everybody says is really cool. But as for whether or not they can tell you anything about it, like, in three months' time, I feel like you could ask a lot of people who said Falcon and Winter Soldier was amazing. It's like, hey, could you tell me what happens in, like, episode three? Could you just go over it for me? I, I think you'd get some pretty unsatisfactory answers. Um, It just seems that way. Like, when WandaVision was coming out, it's like, oh, this is amazing. Falcon Winter Soldier, oh, this is amazing. Loki, wow, this is amazing. And, like, Hawkeye, wow, this is awesome. And now Moon Knight, and then probably half of the other ones, too. Um, 
Love and Thunder trailer thoughts. There's not much to latch on to, but I get the impression that like what Very we see worried. in that trailer is Yeah, I'm worried about that film. I think um I think Endgame put Thor in a really bad place. Um it's it's sort of a meme that people keep pointing out as like every now it's it's constantly like Thor trying to figure out who he is, which is a little bit it's like yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like um because I know now, like, a lot of people shitting on Ragnarok. I like Ragnarok a lot. I think Ragnarok um, still works in terms of a uh, core narrative thrust that lines up with Thor's journey up until that point. And then Infinity War put him in a really good place, and then Endgame put him in a really bad place. Yeah. I really like Ragnarok, yeah. Yeah. Hello. Well, as someone's, point someone's pointed out here, and I'm pretty... I, I basically think this is true. Yeah, the Love and Thunder trailer is, is scenes from the first 20 minutes of the movie. No villain, not much Jane, who would dominate the plot. It's like, yeah, I kind of feel like... I feel like it's not... What we see in the trailer is like an opening montage of him hanging out with the Guardians and then getting back in shape. And then, like... The, the, I feel like there was so little that we saw of what was, like... Because Jane's like a main character, but if we don't see her in any of the shots or in any of the scenes, it's like, well, so clearly this is taking place earlier on in the film. I I would imagine the Guardians are barely, not barely in it, but like, I imagine they're not in it that much. Uh, I think um, they're going to be barely in it. I yeah. think they're going to be barely in it. We'll have them at the beginning, and, and then, then they'll the leave, end. and then it'll be, I don't think they're coming back at the end. Um, yeah, man. Hmm. I don't think we'll see them until the next Guardians movie. And then it will just be, yeah, Thor, Jane, and Valkyrie going off on their own adventure, which is fine, but I mean, I don't know why they didn't show that in the trailer other than to give people not as clear of an impression of what the story's really going to be about. At least that's how it comes across. Mm-hmm. Um, there was one high rags while you were gone, rags. Oh, hello. Uh, but yeah, we finished the Hassan EFAP stream super chats, so now... We're on to the catch-up ones that we were getting when we did the first half. Is everyone ready? I am definitely ready. Excellent. For the first one. Coincidentally, Hassan has been receiving flack from comedians Abba and Preach recently as well. Yeah, I recommend their videos on him. They're very funny. Um, they're just, they're just two guys. I don't know anything about their channel. I just, they were roasting him a bit and uh, he was losing massively, uh, but that's no shock. I don't think I've ever seen Hassan debate somebody and do well. I've seen him do a Abba couple. Abba and Preach? Yeah. ABA and Preach. And, uh, oh, see, so just oh, search that and Hassan. I think there's two videos. Um, they're pretty good. I, I've never heard of Abba and, Abba and Preach. Neither have I. I've heard of them. Abba, Hassan, it's the first I've heard of them. Yeah, let me open that in the new tab. I'll check that out later. Wings quote of the day, reading chat. Can you give a shout out to my boy? <laughs> you know this oh, one, no. Frank. I know this one, yeah. I know oh, this no. one. Uh, no, you can't. You can't. Yeah, you it's, can't it's a it. weird way you say it. Sounds like another thing that gets you banned on YouTube. Uh, and then he says, yeah, boy, and repeats that name. And then he goes, oh, no, I see no, what you're doing. Wait, There's I, just... exactly, yeah. <laughs> I see what you're doing. Uh, that's a great quote, yeah. John Campy has got one of them. Very funny. Uh, snail of the day, metal foot snail. It actually uses it uses actual iron to make its shell and scales and slugs. Oh, sorry, that's so that's that. Um, metal foot snail. What was it? What's it called? That's all they got. Yeah, that's, that's it, apparently. So the first thing that pops up for the metal foot snail is the scaly foot gastropod. Um. Hmm. The shell is of a unique construction with three layers. The outer layer consists of iron sulfides. The middle layer is equivalent to the organic periosticum found in other gastropods. And the innermost layer is made of aragonite. Neat. Uh, let me, oh, let me see if I can, I'll post a picture. So you can see the scaly foot gastropod. That's a creature. Yeah, cool. And then, slug of the day, the leaf, sheep, and emerald slug. They can photosynthesize. How about that? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, I might have given the wrong thing. There's... Uh, this, it's weird that this is being confused with other things, but here we go. 
Hmm. Um, what's your spice food tolerance level? Uh, toler- I don't really like spicy food that much. A little bit, I really like. But, I am huge I'm not super into spicy into food. Love it. I'm saying moderately into it. Oh, hey, look at that. We've got a whole breadth of reactions there. Beautiful. Yeah. How do you guys feel about curry, just in general? Uh, Never I'm not had the it. biggest fan of curry, really. Wow. Well, I'm British, so we fucking love curry over here. Yeah. It hasn't curried quite of an audience over here. Oh, interesting. I'll be here all week. Thoughts on possibly doing EFAP gaming for Halo Infinite's campaign when co-op comes out? Possibly even a Halo arc for all the games on MCC? That was always a, a partial plan, the only problem is that... Uh, is it the first? Which games have two only, rather than four? Um, one and I two. think... One, two, and three only have two, I think. Right? I think, I think three, all... three has four players, right? You play as elite? I thought, if you're... I, oh, I thought it was just Chief and Arbiter, I didn't know it was four player co-op, and then... I think I you think can Halo. have four. I'm not sure, I think, I think the issue there is that unfortunately these games use like a host system so everyone who isn't the host is going to uh. be lagging which could be a big issue considering our geographic so mm -hmm. circumstances yeah yeah i guess we have to lower the difficulty then <laughs> um, we'll, we'll think of something yeah we'll put a maybe on that and we'll do testing see if this is viable Never forget the pew pews we lost along the way. Awesome. Green Frog Goo Birdman. Stop laughing at ghosts every time I bring it up. It's high art. You're also high rags. Oh, hi. Laughing at ghosts? What? I don't know. Lol ghosts. I don't, yeah, I don't feel like Fringy laughs at ghosts. He understands their plight. Yeah, um, it's probably hard being a ghost. Look at me, I'm all like non corporeal. That's. I can't. Yeah, yeah it's not nice. Like it it? Actually be a, yeah. I think that was a show that that a little bit. I suppose it's fine if you want to be a ghost. If you want to be a ghost, of course. Um, Appreciate you guys' consistency, depth of responses to subjects, and dedication to quality on top of your stance regarding advertisement while maintaining your passion. Means a lot. Also, high rags. Um, Hello. That's one of those comments where it's like. That's very kind of you. Because <laughs> yeah. if, if I were to agree with it, it's just super awkward. So I'll just say, like, we're trying our best to do those things. Um, so, yeah, it, we hope it has some form of an effect if we can achieve something close to it. I think Mike meant discount Nick Frost in uh, Half in the Bag. Oh, when he said discount... Simon Pegg. Yeah, I found that really strange when they kept saying the guy in Moonfall was like a like a discount yeah. Simon Pegg. I was I thought maybe they were talking about um a personality archetype, but the thing is, Simon Pegg's played a lot of different characters, so I guess I was I wasn't exactly I sure what they were going for. Say that, but, uh... but if they meant Nick Frost, I guess I can I still be a little bit confused, honestly. Yeah, Nick Frost I see more than Simon Peck. I have watched all EFAP episodes and I was never pissed because of the coverage until the latest Hassan episode. It's such an awful worm creature. <laughs> an awful worm creature. Or oh, worms. True. They have to be sat on so that people can efficiently describe Hassan. Hello everyone. EFAP on Stranger Things 4? No. I don't even know I'll be no. watching that, honestly. But, uh, I'm not going to make these guys watch whatever they need to catch up on it like that. Um, Hassan, two toilets next to each other. Does he poop with people? Why else have it? Um, I, I don't think he has the two toilets next to each other. <laughs> well, unless he's looking to flex on people, I guess. Of course. Uh, chicken nuggets are made from Wesker's smooshed foot. I think they meant food. Oh, no. But, yeah. Food. Smooshed his, food. His smooshed food. <laughs> okay, how about this one? Mike Tyson in his prime versus Hassan, but Hassan is as strong as he is stupid. Whoa. Oh, Hassan. Well, Tyson's got power and intelligence, while Hassan would just be like 
uh, you know, he'd be really strong, but he wouldn't know how to use it, if that makes sense. I think he just the sheer strength because he is really dumb. It's true. We're talking because this is the thing with, with enough strength, you're looking at almost invulnerability to damage, right? At that point, yeah. It's like Hassan doesn't even recognize when he's taking damage. Oh yeah, I don't yeah, know. he might. Yeah, he's so he's so stupid he can't even like feel pain. He's just numbed. He did say that actually, numb to it. So that's uh, good. That's because all those all those years seeking out criticism has made him numb to it. <laughs> so Tyson, look, Tyson could, but I I just don't know if he can actually. I just need to know if Tyson can hurt him if, 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 at all at that point because that's a lot of strength. All Hassan rage moments are clearly times when he hasn't had his nuggies yet. His mom would have made them, but stopped after watching Jordan Peterson. Yeah, Jordan Peterson probably told him to make your own nuggies. That's probably like one of the rules for life or whatever. Clean up your oven so that your nuggies are clean as well. I just, I just think that maybe he doesn't even have make your own in there because he assumed everyone would be already. But he's like, oh my god, yeah, definitely make your own nuggies. Hassan's the kind of person to make Jordan Peterson say, what the fuck is wrong with you? That doesn't surprise me at all. What what the fuck is wrong with you? I can't do it, Jordan Peterson. He's tough. You have to do Kim in then. Yeah. Well, uh, what the fuck is wrong with you? Gotta pitch up, pitch up. What the fuck is wrong with you? I'd say it's tough. I gotta I gotta <laughs> try, yeah, because that's this off the top. It's not one that I could just do randomly. I gotta mm -hmm. think about it. I wait for their bulletins as events warrant on the on the voice for Jordan Peterson. Why are you guys still talking about Hassan? It was like a year ago. It's not like people still talk about World War II. Oh wait. Do you guys see um Oh, happy Hitler's birthday. It got shared on Twitter that uh someone in Hassan's like fan selection is already saying it was two years ago, drop it. Nice. I can believe it. It's not even Two, it. Wait, sorry. Could you explain that one again? Just the, the one of the, the Jay was interacting with people on Twitter, and one of them said, "Like, why the fuck do you care about this anymore? It was two years ago." Oh, it was. <laughs> Man, it's just like Hassan's revisionism is growing. <laughs> yes, it's amazing. That, so eventually, they that's could also say, pretty funny. Why fine. do you care? It happened a while ago. It's like that doesn't. What do you mean? I'm sure they'll apply that standard to everything. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Emancipation Proclamation was years ago. Fucking get over it. The old purchase of LEGO Star Wars 3 The Clone Wars. Oh, a lot of people want me to play like other LEGO games that came out between the Complete Saga and this one because they're like, they weren't all poopy. It's like, don't worry, I believe you. I just... I'm a little LEGO'd out after that one. It really, uh... Yeah. I think that's fair. Really bad. You need to... You need to build up an interest in LEGO games. I mean, the charm was completely fucking sucked out. A really cruel manner. You gonna see the Northman? I'd like to, yeah. Yes, I am I going to see it. Today, actually, so probably sometime this week. There are something like 18 million millionaires in the U.S. Last I checked. Yeah, that sounds about right. Statistically, the vast majority of millionaires are first generation. Is that? Uh oh, really? Oh yeah. Not even close. Okay. Interesting. Last time I checked, it was in like the 80s percent. Okay, right. Yoshi does not say Yoshi. Yorsh? Yeah, Yorshi? It's, it's, like Warsh? Warsh up it's spelled Y-A-W-S-H-I, which is not what Fringy's claiming. That's not what I said. Neither do I. We just go by what he says in like Smash games and stuff. Like, yeah. Yoshi! He doesn't say Yoshi! He doesn't say that, yeah. The announcer does, but Yoshi doesn't. Yoshi. I'll defer to Yoshi. Yeah, it's, um, we see someone's lying, okay? And it ain't us. Mm hmm. Would you say Blythe is Welsh? Does that make him your favorite? Careful, he might get called a furry. Also, hi, Rag. Scritches for the good boy. Hi, he's my favorite. Um, I don't know if I have a favorite from that game. I don't know any of the characters. I guess we're going strictly by how people look. Um, Bly's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. Uh, hey Mola, you're inspiring me to do a series of videos on these zombies games. Hopefully when I get my computer you can check it out. Love you too, Rags. 
Oh. Zombies we're, games? We... Just zombies games in general? Or? Plants vs. Zombies, zombies games? Or... I have no idea. Plants vs. Zombies. Um, Dead, Dead Island. Dying Light. Don't know. Hey. Left for Dead. Love the streams. Do you guys have any criticisms of Breaking Bad? Um, yeah. Quite a few. I do love the show, but uh, upon rewatching it semi recently, it became clear that um, there's a formula of the characters. Everyone has to work very hard to get things back to a arguable neutrality in terms of nobody's looking for anything, everyone's chill, and things are going well. And oftentimes, what will uh, destroy that balance will be someone doing something relatively small and sometimes only justified by the fact that they are drunk, they are very angry, their pride is being wounded, or uh, coincidentally some event happens at the same time as something else, and then it'll spiral back out of control. Uh, it makes for really engaging TV, and it's definitely further down the list than most things for like what I would call a flaw, but there's just some instances where I'm like, eh... Um... I mean, uh, to give you just one example, for, for, for the sake of this, uh, early on, right, I think episode two, the Crazy Eight escapes the, um, the house because Jesse thinks he's un, uh, unconscious, and, like, Walt happens to bump into him on his way back when, if you were, like, a minute later, everything falls the fuck apart as soon as Crazy Eight gets to, like, a hospital. Um, or, mm -hmm. well, anyone, really. And not only then do you have that, where Walt is at the earliest point of his arc, right? He's not going to hurt Crazy 8 in terms of knocking him out. He's, 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 like, terrified, doesn't know what to do. And Crazy 8, in fear, runs into a tree and knocks himself out. Which is very useful for Walt, let's just put it that way. There's, there's, there's things like that, basically. But it um, doesn't change the phenomenal character work in uh, Breaking Bad. For the most part, as well as the plotting, it's got a it's, it's a stronger plot than basically most TV shows ever. Um, so you know, there's there's a couple of things like that, uh, but I still fully recommend the show and really enjoy watching it. And I'm gonna be watching the two episodes of Better Call Saul today, hopefully, that are out, because we're we're closing in. The season's coming to an end, or series rather. Set a year. Uh, hey there, EFAP crew. Currently, I'm drunk, so I decided to give you money. Keep up the good work. Oh, nice. Thank you very much. EFAP movies, The Man Who Killed Hitler, and then The Bigfoot. It must happen. Is it any good, though, or is it just a funny name? Because, you know... Wouldn't want to watch a film just for its name. Hassan reminds me of the Dung Eater spreading a curse and defiling YouTube videos for his own amusement. I can I can see how you could call him the Dung Eater. Yeah. Um, I thought you stopped Soul around season three. No, I recently rewatched it and went through the whole thing. I am I am caught up. Uh, hey, me and some friends watched your video on Twitch reactions on a stream. Really good video and well written. Um, uh, and some friends watched your video. I don't know who that's directed at out of the cast or what video it would be, but that's nice yeah. to hear, I suppose. Mike Tyson in his prime versus wings now, but he has a pistol grip and a PS4 controller. Winner gets a gallon of Wendy's chili and a nice cold Pepsi. <laughs> like you've got the the motivation sorted out for wigs. Um, look, it, uh, I couldn't possibly guess who would win that. You know, Hard so, to say. it's what you would call an immovable object battling an unstoppable force. So yeah, I, I, I think that's one for the simulations, and I wouldn't even trust their outcomes. Man, Ethan Klein makes me sad now. He doesn't even feel like the same guy from five years ago. He's not. Uh, have, we, have we talked at all about the the, the, the thing about uh, him being yeah. sad as fuck and he's lost his sponsors? Oh, sorry, man. This is the world you wanted. 
I don't know how, how anyone could have any other response than that. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's... Yeah. Sorry, man. But yeah, this is the game that and you wanted to play. This isn't even like a, um, a vengeance thing. It's more so like, well, so you would have advocated that people lose sponsorships when they do any kind of like damage to minorities or they do something controversial. This all this <laughs> stuff is like pretty much what he did um, in his mm -hmm. own purview. Like he, um, from what I've gathered, I haven't seen the clips, but he, um, he was making jokes about um, a gay person, I think, and then they called in and he continued to do that. And then his fans got very fucking pissed at him, um, and they called his sponsors, which, by the way, holy shit. Like, of all the people to be the ones to fuck you over monetarily, your own fan base, just like, how does that not make that, you go like, holy that, fuck. That probably is the reason why he's so sad, it's kind of like a realization, almost. Yeah. Yeah, you uh, fostered this kind of an audience, they'll turn on you in a fucking second, my dude. Well, I guess that's, yeah, that's, that's... It, yeah, like it's not a matter. You liked of, like, them when they were your buddies and they were cheering for you. It's not like a ha ha, you get what you deserve thing. It's more of like a, it's hard to feel sorry for you when this is like the world that you wanted, except when it happens yeah, like, to you. Like this oh, means damn, everything. Sorry, bro. The systems are working as intended as he's laid them out. So what? Now what? Like why are you sad? It's, it's like yeah, you should be happy, right? This is the world that you wanted. It's like oh, yeah, this is good. Not when it affects, not when it affects me. It's like right, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you're in that way You're too getting much what lately, you deserve. That's a good thing. Uh, it, it was, it is getting a little bit annoying when it's like, just people. You're really happy with the outcome, except when it affects you, and then it sucks. And I guess like yeah, it probably does suck, especially if it's from your own audience. But it's like that's that's a really shitty thing to be afraid of your own audience. When someone um, said, "Do you remember when he did?" thing to Keemstar. I remember very well, and I also remember um, Keemstar's immediate response was like, it's less to do with the damage you'll do to me, and most of the damage you're doing, the the, the war overall, be it YouTube culture. Like, you just well, yeah, because fired a salvo just... going for people's sponsors. Do you understand what that means? Well, yeah. Yep. Keemstar is smart enough to point it. it out, you know? Yeah. Especially He's when, like, it, it oh, and Jordan Peterson said that this would happen, like, exactly yeah. this. A lot of um, that's what everyone's quoting. They're quoting the Jordan Peterson uh, the tweets back to well, him. Well, I mean, it's it's prophetic, isn't it? It's Should like, be framed. It's, uh, yeah, it's like, one of the best tweets ever. Now, kind of. It's like it's yeah. so accurate and true, and it's like it happened. And the fact that the fact that Ethan didn't see that as a possibility is like. It's, um, I'm pretty sure, uh, Dev made a video on it, like, the purity spiral comes for everyone. Yeah. Remember, like, Lindsay Ellis quit YouTube because she was, like, getting shit on by her own audience. Like, that she was getting relentlessly criticized by the her own audience that she had fostered. Yep. But, like, not, not, like, because it's, you know, obviously criticism is, like, just a part of the process, and, like, criticism can be useful and helpful, but, I mean... There's a difference between just getting criticism and being like relentlessly attacked by your own audience. An audience comprised well, of part of people who would happily take away your income. Like, um, yeah, because this goes beyond yeah. the sponsorships at that point. It's just like there's just this relentless irony that they've been kind doing of, this to yeah. so many people. They've experienced it now, and they're like, "This sucks." And it's like, yeah, it does. Yeah. Like, yeah, it, yeah, does, it suck. does, doesn't it? It does suck when that happens. Because again, it was, it was. It wasn't Lindsay Ellis, she, she didn't call it cancelling, which is what she was talking about, the phenomenon of cancelling She didn't people. want to call it anything. She said that if I call yeah. it something, the right will take it. It's like, man, that's, um... Sorry you're like, such a pussy that you're gonna give the right everything. I don't even but, know. Oh, well, it didn't even make sense, because they already had a label yeah. they'd given it fucking ages ago. It's the thing that they did. Yeah, she tried to say, this is a thing that the right does. It's like, bitch, <laughs> no. I don't think that, Ever, that's you been, quite label? the sentiment for that video. Uh, she definitely did used to say that, but on because it was the EXO uh, speech, I remember saying on a really old EFAP, I quite enjoyed the EXO speech she had. Unfortunately, she described a process, and then she said the right do it, and it was like, you know that's not true. Uh, mm -hmm. Well, and I mean, surely her deciding to basically retire from the internet is an admission that that's the case. Yeah, so sorry. Like to, it's, it's, to correct, it's not that the right do not do it. It's that it's not. It's not true that the right are the ones oh, that like created and perpetuate. It's like no, because there's been like instances. Does it at this point. Yeah, there's few instances, but there's instances of like more so right wing cancellation. But um, the left wing cancellation is through the fucking roof. Uh, and yeah, in her well, just... in her uh, video outlining her cancellation, she she definitely made clear that the the left were coming for her.
which um yeah that's that's got to suck when you feel like your own audiences especially if you're like but i'm a good person right and it's like mate you know it's like <laughs> but then you've got i don't think anybody is bad, under the uh thousands. that's kind of what jordan peterson's point was it's just like nobody can survive this nobody can survive because you're, you're never being too pure standard yeah. it's impossible um and even if you were held to that damn i remember it was a quote from a character in the social network that was uh I'm pretty like he was not he was um it was a character that was played by justin timberlake um but it was it was a, a quote that i find interesting in the context was um whatever has tripped you up you've already done it and if you've managed to live your life like the dumb Lama, they'll just make stuff up about you and it's like that now that character was meant to be incredibly I mean, paranoid um but it's like man it's, it's like true, true. <laughs> it's just true because they don't even matter if you they do make shit up about us, but uh, they don't need to make stuff up because apparently it's good enough that we responded to a woman, so we're already done. True. We did respond to a woman. That part wasn't the lie. <laughs> they got us there. Dead to rights. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. That's, that's kind of the thing is like, even in the purity spiral, you could be like an absolute saint and it won't help you. you you'd still... Because it could be like, well, why are you doing this but not that? Why aren't you doing more? Or just alternatively, something that is entirely innocuous just gets you in trouble. Like, um... Yeah. Or people will just question why you're doing something. Like, if you do nothing yeah, but he charity, people might be like, cloud or he, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. why are you doing so much charity? Do you have a guilty conscience or something, you know? It's, um, yeah. It, and, and of course, it all feels a little bit annoying, because it's like, have you never made a mistake ever in your life? <laughs> like, Well, really? that's the thing. The, no. the audience is a, is a million anonymous people who never... They, they they don't want a spotlight. They're not part of it. They don't have people examining them. Well, so they, can run away they don't have to worry about that, it. Yeah, they can run away from every dumb take or every stupid thing they've ever done because it's not... But, like, if you're a public figure, then you you can't run away from a, from that. But, but I guess that's the part. It's like, I don't know. It's it's uh, it's it's not a good culture, guys. <laughs> but I'm sure really bad. there's not going to be much disagreement here. But I, And I guess the problem is I don't really see it getting any better. I only see it getting worse. Um, I think it's a bubble, though. Mean, uh, well, like, well, I, I guess how many people need to be cancelled before cancelling means nothing anymore, right? Like, if everybody gets, um, dragged through the mud, then everybody's on equal footing, right? <laughs> like, well, I have just no idea. like, you know, like, like that clip I played of Bad Logic where just, just characters more so that are erupting like that, where they're just like, no, fuck your team. I'm on my own team. I don't fucking care if you cancel me. Go the fuck ahead. Well, like I think just uh, that attitude, and then that, enough that looks, viewers to be like, "I like this attitude, actually." Yeah, yeah, I'm going for this guy. This this attitude. It seems like that attitude helps you. It seems like capitulating. I, I wow, it's, it's always a thing of like, if you actually made a mistake, then it's worth growing from it. But it's it's also a matter of like, well, do you owe the audience an apology, or is it something that was like a personal thing that you need to work on on your own? Like, you shouldn't just be doing it just because people are telling you to do it should be rooted in like, ah, oh, yeah, I actually made a mistake, I'll sort that out. Um, and yeah, it seems like if you don't feel like you've done anything wrong, apologizing in the hopes that that calms things down, it may not be the best long-term strategy, because it just kind of establishes that all it takes is enough social pressure to like, basically make you capitulate. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, I think uh, there's another thing from a dev video. He makes interesting videos that was talking about it. Some sort of study that indicated that um, people who didn't, like, apologize when they basically got mobbed um, because they felt they hadn't done anything wrong, that, like, the long-term results for them were preferable um, because people kind of respected them a bit more, I guess, for conviction. Hmm. And I guess as well, it's a matter of, like, your own audience as well, right? Like, if you have an audience who liked you anyway, it might be worthwhile. To... But then again, this is all... It's all based on like well if you feel like you've actually made a mistake or anything then that's that's one thing but it's, it's i guess about motives yeah um jonathan height talked about how political polarization has increased since the 90s it's gotten worse um I, it isn't so, just a perception i assume well i i remember that was a topic we talked about the problem is it's like didn't didn't the Republicans like heavily filibuster during like the civil rights bill and stuff and then like there'd be other examples to the counter as well of like political processes that we use to kind of make things get gridlocked. Um 
Like, I don't know. The filter. If like, we're strictly I, talking about the internet, maybe there's an argument to be made. I guess the internet, when like, it was new, wasn't a place necessarily to be discussing politics right away. Um, yeah. I guess the problem is, are we talking about just... I think it's a matter of, it's the question of, has social media made us become more polarized? Or, um... Or, uh... Is it inevitable? Or, um, the other way around. Or, like, is it that it just propagated, um... You know, expanded it. Like, that it made us more aware. It was the opposite. Okay, hold on. Well, actually, I don't care. I'll just look into it in my own time. <laughs> that was something I heard, anyway. Well, Wasn't I mean, it, uh, Lyndon B. Johnson, though? Wasn't he in the, uh, or was, it, or was he filibustered by his own party? Like, hold on. Wow, actually, like I said, don't hold on. I'll just look it up myself. Um, I think it's just hard to well, prove if never polarization the, never is happening or not. That, yeah, because what does that even mean? Dems filibustered it in the 64 for 60 days. Right, okay. Well, nevertheless, right, that's still the same thing, right? There's political polarization that causes, like, gridlocks in, um... In, uh, in, like, the process of passing legislation. Like, I don't know that it's necessarily... That, um, that it's, like, only now, right, where there's, like, less cooperation. Or maybe it seems more like that in recent years compared to before. Like, as in before, you know, like, 20 years ago or something. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, same. and of course, right, someone said, I think the US was more polarized in the Civil War. It's like, yeah. <laughs> like, you know what? Yeah. I'd say that America yeah. was quite polarized uh, during the but Civil War. But again, if War. we're talking like 2012 compared to 2016 compared to 2020, it's like it does oh, seem to sure. have gotten sure. Surely. more yeah. vitriol and, uh, and yeah, more polarized. Um, maybe we're on a downtrend. Maybe we're going to expanding the middle a bit more. Who knows? Yeah. Working on a video on Peacemaker right now. Shocking how well it was received. I found it to be horrible. Also, high rags. Hello. Well, hey, good luck. Um, I can't say. I've seen so little of it. Search up Tentacle Moth. It lives in Australia. Of course it does. Tentacle Moth. Okay, okay, Tentacle so. Moth. So that is an that is an odd boy. Let me get according, a here for according to ye old Wikipedia, it was the Southern Bloc of 18 Southern Democrat senators and a Republican launched a filibuster in March 30 of 1964 that lasted for 54 days. That's terrifying. That image, by the way. Oh, wow. Look at that. Jeez. That is terrifying. That looks like a Lovecraftian, like, crazy thing. Jesus. That should be in Bloodborne yeah. easily. That is an Eldritch Moth boss. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> Rags. Hello. Hello. Uh, Gamer Sups is better than G Fuel. It's non glycemic. Alright. I don't I don't have a I have a horse in that race, you know. Rags, after watching the logic collab, I realize you still use the safe word calzome. Calzone. In the denim stream, sad it didn't work. Also, hi everyone, but M. <laughs> everyone, um, it didn't work, but M? I have no clue. I... Maybe M is me. Ooh. Could be. You are, you are M for Mahler. That's you. Kessel Run is jargon for cutting through Kessel Black Hole Cluster and is measured in parsecs. The shorter the distance traveled, the faster the ship. I don't think that's... I don't think we needed uh, an explanation. We, 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 we were talking about how I wonder if anybody even knows when he says that, what it means. Or if they just go like, oh yeah, he did that. That's the thing that he did. Or he made it up on the spot, you know. It's just the funny scenario. Who is voicing Shadow the Hedgehog in Sonic 3? I would love Weird Al. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure everyone will be very excited to see who they cast, you know. But they get it right. That's a funny thought. Best Knuckles is Uganda Knuckles. That's one of my favorite memes. I loved Uganda Knuckles. It was pretty funny. That was a very funny meme. Mm -hmm. Quick thoughts on Sonic 2? 
Oh, well, they're in luck. Uh, well, we talked about it on uh, yeah. that EFAP that we were doing the catch up on. Presumably that person right. got what they wanted the following week. Um, they were fairly quick. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so we talked about it on Cosmoronic 10. Yeah, 10. So you check that out if you want. What do you think of Master Chief's Behind? Uh, well, I haven't seen that episode yet, but I have heard about that. Yeah. Because they didn't like... just take off his armor. <laughs> He's going fucking uh, everywhere. Yeah. That's how I imagine Master Chief, just butt naked. Oh, yeah. Uh, Funny thing is, if ever uh, he had to be naked, everyone would request that he keep the helmet on. <laughs> <laughs> the helmet stays on. Safe sex. <laughs> oh, that stays on. Uh, Chris Chan should voice Shadow. Also, Hyrax. Hello. I'd be on board with that. I don't know if that's going to be possible with all the prison stuff, though. He does it through that little telephone that they talk to through the glass. Possible, yeah. Yeah. Have you guys ever watched Sonic Zombies? It's really funny and thoughts on the adventure games. I've not seen that and I've not played the games. I haven't played the adventure games. Man, I don't but, think I've uh, played any Sonic games. I played. A, I think I played the original, the the one on the Sega Genesis, right? Well, apparently Sonic the Hedgehog, or Sonic Two, Sonic Three, Knuckles. Those were all the Genesis. Those are yeah, they're good games. Apparently, they're getting uh re-released now. Um, there was like a trailer today for like a re-release for all those games. Well, wow, neat. Have you guys seen the videos by Abba and P Preach about Hassan calling them transphobic and them clapping back with his own transphobia takes? Yes, they're good. I recommend them. Wait, what did Hassan... What were you his takes? Uh, uh, you talking about the talking? Abba and Preach thing? Yeah. yeah, um, I, yeah that's, I've got that ready for uh, after the EFAP. I'm going to give that give that a look-see. The short version is Hassan says dumb shit. <laughs> right. I could mm. never have guessed. I don't oh. mean to shock you. This um, guy on the left needs to put his shirt on now. The Finch doesn't use a sword, it uses a skewer to pull grubs out of trees because it doesn't have a long woodpecker tongue, lol. Slightly less badass. It's pretty badass, though. Yeah, I think it's still badass, yeah. That's still pretty. That, I mean, as far as Finches go, that's pretty... I don't, I don't, I... I wonder how tough you have to be as a finch to be like a really tough finch because they don't seem particularly, you know, like dangerous and metal, you know, so. Metal commander? And. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, after watching the JD slash AH trial, oh, Johnny Depp one, uh, for the last couple days, people need to teach their sons not to stick their D in crazy. Hey, it's, it turns up in a lot of media as a lesson, okay? People want to prevent that from happening. Ever also, about... don't stick your dick in a blender. Don't do that either. That's also good advice. Um, don't do that. Ever thought about having Lauren Southern on EFAB? I can't imagine why the fuck she would want to be on EFAB. But um, if she requested mm -hmm. it, I'd be like, what movies do you like? <laughs> I could entertain the idea. But it would be it would be fucking hilarious to have Lauren Southern on. She stays up for like four hours, whatever. We don't talk a single piece about like anything other than Marvel or something. I'm a bit late, but you've gotten the super chats yet? Uh, well, yeah, kind of. Hassan quotes as read by Anakin Skywalker, circa Episode Three, also high rags. Hi. Um. Well, I guess, uh... Hassan quote. What even are some famous Hassan quotes? And then Anakin would just be that... That delivery. Or it's, um... Very good. Very good delivery. That's what I'll call it. I think it'd be pretty funny. Um... Win weighs a ton. After rags. Eric faps on after... Wolf? Jack off a Boy Scout? What is happening? Saints vs. Mauler and now Asan and Twitch vs. Beloved J. That leaves one. Oh, are they suggesting that now it's time for uh, 
bring you to have some kind of personal battle with a with a Uber or something? Uh I no thanks. <laughs> um Oh look, I completed the game by beating the high score on every mode, so now I've unlocked the new background. Oh yay. I need is that. Yeah. Um. Okay. Please voice Fringy. Um. Okay. I'll have to paste this to you. This it involves all of us. Oh. Um. Uh, what is this? Don't ask questions. I don't think asking questions is the point of that. It's so sad that Steve Jobs died of a ligma. Who's Steve Jobs? L what, ligma balls boom. No. Okay. Man, that's, that's the script. Stuck. <laughs> uh, well, that's, all right. This big. Circle jerk of people who think Rags is the worst member of EFAP because he's too negative. I can't imagine what they would think of Wolf. Hey, Wolf was always the friendliest ever when it came to reacting <laughs> to people's opinions. <laughs> um, I miss Wolf telling people they're worthless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He had he had things to say about people. Uh, did anything become of the Keffel's part of the stealing the products of Jay's labor arc? Did she figure out stealing is bad or not? Nah? From what I understand, she uploaded a video, just re-uploaded Jay's video, but with a chair in the corner, and said it's performance art and therefore transformative. Um, and then it got taken down either by her or someone else. I don't, I don't know. Uh, that's all I knew about that. I, I never actually got to see any of it. So, uh, hi Rags. Hi. I'm working on a rewrite of Steppenwolf's motivation. If I emailed it to one of your, would you guys read it out for a vid? Rags is the narrator, Muller is Steppenwolf, Fringy is Desaad, and Rags is Darkseid. Um, I don't know how much. I mean, if they're down for it, sure. I am not down for it. I'm not. There you not. go. I'd be surprised that you'd be down for it, Rags. You don't see any exploit I'd, possible only there. Only if you are. If only if you were. You, oh well, I'm, I would I'm down for see. It if you are. I wouldn't be down for it even if you were. Oh, uh, that's fine. <laughs> my my inquisition is into why you would want to uh, agree to do that through a super chat. I feel like people might start asking you to do lots of things if you agreed to that. No, I just, I my plan was to make you guys look like the unfun ones who don't care about Steppenwolf because you I don't care about Steppenwolf. I, you don't care oh, about Steppenwolf. Care. Wow. No, not, no not be it all, they really don't. You don't care about Steppenwolf? Mighty Steppenwolf, who once sat on the right side of the Great One? that like a quote? From the the movie, yes. You I don't know why like I, I know remember that. it. I, I don't, I Could be. Yeah, I that's from the remember. movie. It's from the oh. film we watched. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. You, need, you, you should be sorry, actually, and you should apologize to Zack Snyder. I don't think I will. What? <laughs> I've decided against it, Rags. I'm a rebel. Rebel. Why do websites that start with T, W, I, and T harbor the worst people on the internet? Obviously excluding parts of the dark web, but I believe, well, I bet, even those people know they're doing something morally wrong. Oh, the Twitch streamers? I think so. Twitch oh, and well, Twitter. I guess what they pointed out was Twitch and Twitter both have, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, there's a connection there, okay. You Dumbos can do something morally right, though. Stream DDLC and transform it by doing anything more than walking away from your effing chair. Look, EFAP gaming is super transformative. It always is. Because we, we talk some mad shit about gaming in general and the game we're playing. Right. True. Hey y'all, been watching Muller and EFAP since Game of Thrones Unbridled Rage videos came out. The YouTube algorithm took a stab in the dark with Muller's content, and I've been grateful ever since. Yay. Yeah, Game of Thrones, that was an era. Ugh. But glad you've had fun with all of it. 
Todd Logic is the first British EFAB guest, just like how Muller is the first British real BBC host. I see. Az is getting shafted. Or is he? Depends if he's really from Britain. Who can know? Um, hearing Hassan say he's working class while I'm working at my warehouse job is absolutely hilarious. Hey, it's, 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 it's the aesthetic. He wants the label. He can't have it, but he wants it. It, it is a, an aesthetic, yes. That is the perfect way to describe it. It's the aesthetic of being working class. It's really fucking gross. Uh, as in his desire to not be what he is, but to benefit from what he is. Yeah. And you know that at any moment, you know, he could give it all away. He could give it all away and he could he can invest in all of these causes that he supposedly supports. He could do it anytime he wants, but instead he buys mansions and thousand dollar shirts. He gets on his private jets and sails away. Could we get a reaction to Wings of Redemption's best moments on a future multimedia medley? I'm not going to say no. That's a possibility someday. Because Wings of Redemption is hilarious. He is a very funny character. Hey Muller, you guys thought about getting DJ Cobbler on here? He's a sound critic with good video game opinions and he had a great video about Elden Ring. Definitely worth your time. Uh, I'm not against it at all. It's, who knows what's going to happen in the future for guest peoples? We'll have to figure some things out with different peeps here and there. Who knows? Not these guys. Not us. Nope. Nope. Oh boy, another 72 hour Nazi kill stream hosted by Himmler, Goebbels, a yeah, literal buddy. German, a Greenman, and the Hamburglar. Please don't ban me, Daddy Longlegs. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about me doing it. YouTube Daddy might do Longlegs. it. <laughs> Um, favorite fictional detective, and then favorite time traveler mm. besides the doctor. Favorite fictional detective. Good question. Perhaps Basil. A Baker Street? Nice. Um. I don't know. I don't really, I'm not too aware of a lot of detectives. Um, I just don't really watch many detective shows and stuff. I don't know who I'd pick. I feel like Batman and Sherlock are too obvious. Yeah, a little bit. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure actually who I'd pick. I haven't watched enough of Columbo. Maybe he would be if I've watched more yeah, of Yeah, I it. feel like same for Poirot. Like, I'd probably end up liking... I, yeah, I like Poirot a lot. Uh, I haven't Monk. watched enough. is neat. I do like Downey Jr.'s homes, yeah. Uh, uh. And I like House, if he counts. Yeah, I like him. He's based on a detective. He's, but a, he's medical a medical detective. detective. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck's I wrong like with Cole you? Phelps. I like Cole Phelps. This is the thing. I like all these people. I don't know who my favorite is. And then, yeah. as a time travel, this... Uh... I don't know. It feels like you'd just be thinking about, like, Marty McFly or something. Probably Doc, yeah. The detective? <laughs> I'm having to look at... Oh, Detective Pikachu, yeah. That's an option. Inspector Cluzo, he's, he's definitely an honorable mention. Which Cluzo? Which one in particular? Not Steve Martin? Is that the other option you're thinking? <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just know those two. He did discover that it was Yuri the Twain of Who Twains, though. So that is that is something to be aware of. Danger Mouse. Yeah, I, I have no idea what I would say for Time Traveler, really. Uh, uh, I, and then the fact that you've excluded the Doctor makes it so I can't give the easy answer, so... I'll say, um... That character David Tennant played at some point that time traveled. I, I, I can't possibly remember the role, but I'm pretty sure it's not excluded mm -hmm. by saying not the Doctor. Um, Eve Appen Co., which is better? A game with great gameplay, but a terribly written story, or one with an amazingly one. written story, but with subpar gameplay? 
No, gameplay. The first one, gameplay. Oof, I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to agree on this one after they said subpar gameplay. What, why, what a sub- oh, right, as opposed to like, absolutely dysfunctional and terrible? Yeah, if we're dealing with- the, what they just described could very well be what Soma is categorized into. Ah. Uh, I guess it- yeah, I guess it depends on how you- how you categorize subpar gameplay. Like, is it- yeah. Hmm. Yeah, if subpar just means like it's not that good. Or like it's I think kind subpar of means it's worse than average. Yeah, like if it's kind of bad, then it, it depends on how great the story is, I guess. But then again, if the gameplay is amazing, it's like, well shit, that's worth a lot to me too. <laughs> oh, well, and that, yeah. Well, because they, they worded mm. this all very, very straight. Like, a great game, a great gameplay, terribly written story. I'm trying to think of what game would be an example of that. Um, a great game with what? a terrible story? Yeah. <laughs> Resident um, Evil 4 is what you said, is it? Or? I said Gears of War. Oh. Well, Resident Evil 4 can't probably counts like, as well. Remember... Uh, I don't know if the story's terrible. It it's not good. It probably is. I don't know. Like, when you There's look so at, little of it in Resident Evil 4. Like, if you look at really isn't the much. dialogue and Doom then what Eternal? everyone gets up to mm. based on their motivations, it's not fantastic. Oh, people saying no, Doom Eternal? Good. That could be one. Okay. The Last of Us 2 does not have great gameplay. No. Um, so, if if it were Doom Eternal versus amazingly written story and subpar gameplay... Because this is the thing, I wouldn't be happy if someone described mechanically Soma as bad or anything. I'd be like, it all works. It's, there's no... Well, I guess it's clean. if it all works, it's not complex. It's functional, right? Surely subpar means that there's something wrong with it, to if, some extent. Or it's not utilized in a way that makes sense, or is conducive to like good gameplay it's not intuitive maybe because that's the problem yeah it's the fact that they said amazingly written story and that shit is gonna be very likely of more value to me um than great gameplay I'm, I'm very specifically gunning for these words being used. Like, we're looking at yeah. 10 out of 10, maybe even 11 out of 10 story, or an 8 out of 10 gameplay. Like, oh, I... It's tough to say. In the I want to make sure, though, in the same way that if I were offered three 8 out of 10 stories or one 11 out of 10 gameplay, I would probably want the 11 out of 10 gameplay. Because yeah. it's so rare to be able to get the uh, top, that, yeah. top echelons of anything. Oh, hopefully that was the answer you're looking yeah, for. Yeah, I mean, ho hopefully that gets you somewhere along the line of what we're thinking about. It's tough to say without some examples, but just talking generalities. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's tough to say. Yeah, it's tough to say. I think we definitely side with the uh, gameplay is more important to a game than story. Um, as a, yes. Certainly as a rule of thumb, but when you get into very specific examples, it can get complicated. Yeah. Popping in for a quick yoinky sploinky donation. Yoinky sploinky! Thank you very much. I learned pinning hate comments is called pin shaming. Okay. Pin shaming? Alright. I believe you. The new MCC update added Flood Firefight for ODST, and I would absolutely recommend trying it. Oh, yeah, that sounds like it could be fun. Yeah. Might give that a try. A vial of Fringy's goo. What the soul says. Oh. Okay. Um, Thing Day Zero. What the fuck? Auto autocorrect. YouTube Morley? Thing Day Zero? What are they talking about? Nope, nothing. Mm. Alright. Thing Day Zero. <laughs> I've been away, oh long man. Have a few shekels as recompense. Also, love you, man, and appreciate you a lot. A ton. Aww. Appreciate you lot a ton. Thank you very much. Very kind. Ah. Um, howdy rags. Thanks for being the Hello. one who brought me to Mola way back when. Oh. No. Oh. Do that. That alt right pipeline. <laughs> the alt right pipeline. <laughs> You'll be hating TLJ in no time. Uh, that uh, bringing you're pretty cool for someone who doesn't even exist. Yo. Hey. 
and then they just put J dot dot dot. And it all ends with a heart. How oh, nice. Nice. And the last one from the catch-up for the first half of Hassan's oh, stream is fish. Yo, fish. I love fish. Fish, mm. fish are great. Fish is pretty cool. I'm pro fish. And now I shall begin reading today's. Yay. Today is Wednesday, April 20th, 2022. Yeah, all right. Hmm. Not for fringy. All right, no. fair enough. That's okay. Fine, hold against you. For a great 10 second smiling friend goof, YouTube search Sandwich Eater slash The Mr. Heavy Show. Um, alright. I might look into that at some point. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Would you rather play Dark Souls inspired by Sesame Street or Lego Elden Ring? Assume that both are well done and tacos are invisible. Dark Souls inspired by Sesame Street sounds very interesting. I don't, each yeah, of the so, each of the the Sesame Street puppets, right? They're, or are or are they Muppets? Are they puppets or Muppets? They're puppets, right? Well, I guess are they both? Because the, the puppet describes them mechanically when creating the show, and then they are Muppets. Yeah, and the Muppets are like, the character set, maybe. Point being, I think that all of those characters they have personalities. So you could use those to create stories and some lore out of what happened to essentially the the street, the Sesame Street that you're going through. Because you have the Count in his castle, and you have the Grouch and the Dumpster and all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah, you could definitely make a hierarchy and a, and a will building around it. And you could even go as far as each of the main ones. Like, their first phase is how they look, and then the second phase is it rips apart and there's some creature that's... Yeah, there's some creature underneath within. it, yeah. Yeah, so I'm way more interested by Dark Souls inspired by Sesame Street than I am Lego Elden Ring. And it might be because I'm on a... I'm a little bit put off by Lego right now. As I mentioned. Yeah. I just don't really care about Legos, you know, I just not really... Legos care good. about you, Rags. Yeah. Um, happy 420, you beautiful massives. Thank you very much. You too, yeah. It's my birthday today. Thanks for the stream, massives. No problem. Uh, hey guys, just graduated. Oh, of course, happy birthday. Uh, just graduated and hoped I'd make it in time to catch this stream. By the way, which is worse in your opinion? Batman vs. Superman or Spider-Man 3? BVS. BVS, yeah. Um, also, congrats on graduating. Yeah, absolutely. Good oh, stuff. yeah, good job. Um, BVS has almost nothing redeemable in it, I think. Oh, like... Ben Affleck's doing all the actors do just fine, um, but like yeah, the actors are fine. Disaster. There's some neat music here and there, uh, but Spider-Man Three is like, I'm pretty sure there are pieces of Spider-Man Three that work. I am sure. almost certain that there probably are. Maybe probably. I can't remember it anymore. Watching, I it. can't either. Next time Short Fat Otaku is on, you need to ask him about the time he terrorized Toronto and his kill dozer, leaving thousands without power. Oh. That's yeah. I've been meaning to ask Dev about that, but we just sort of—it's not a rule, but it's like yeah, you don't really bring it up, you know that kind of thing. Hmm. Fringy, when did you come out? Oh yeah, Fringy. Like, when did I come out? Yeah. Like come out of the closet, come, well, like come out of, like I don't know, like what? Well, they're asking you. Yeah, this I is don't on this is your the question, parameters man. of your question. I'm so sorry, Super Chatter. Judy Garland was yeah, repeatedly you, drugged and raped through the shooting of Wizard of Oz. I have only ever heard bad things and horror stories about that, yeah. That sucks. Hollywood lame. To say the least. In lieu of the Wings quote of the day, how about a funny story? Last week, Trolls paid Wing's favorite baseball player of all time to do a cameo vid where he basically just shits all over him for three minutes. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh. That's mean. I mean, it couldn't happen to a nicer guy, of course, but yeah. that's still mean. Which of all the animals sent in did you enjoy seeing the most? Which one would you make a protagonist of a video game? Oh, any of the cute ones. That would work easy. Um, maybe use some of the scarier ones for, like, Dark Souls, but underwater. 
or something. That moth one, man. It's going right into Bloodborne, like I said. Yeah. Um, but which one did I enjoy the most? Hmm. Gonna be one of the smaller critters, unfortunately, I just can't remember all the names. Also, for consideration, Simothoa Exigua. Exigua? Um. Exsanguine? Exsanguine? Like exsanguinate? To remove the blood from something is to exsanguinate it? I mean, yeah, if you add a whole bunch of words on, I guess that could be what that word was. I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm just spitballing. One of the weirdest parasites I've ever seen. Does not look attractive. Oh, does it like sit inside the mouth of fish? That is gross, man. Damn, it's not. I want. I don't know how big that thing get. Oh god, there's one for a human. That's no fun. Ugh. They're like open mouths with lots of fish, and you can just see it in there. I don't want to see it. Yeah, this is one of those ones that if I even posted a, a picture, I'd be deleting it soon after, because that's creepy. Anyway. Yeah. Total hot take. The Mario Bro film uh, will just be your run-of-the-mill Illumination Kitty film with pop culture references and songs that so happens to have Mario characters. Probably. Is that a hot take? I don't think it is. Probably a fair expectation. Yeah. Uh, I meant the Dark Knight Rises versus Spider Man 3. Oh. Uh, Spider Man 3 probably still. Dark Knight Rises is a film that I remember being absolutely foul in terms of, like, writing. Uh, yeah. Not, not a good one. All that aside, if we don't get Pharrell Williams doing a cover of the Mario Bros. theme, I might actually be upset. I'm not a fan of Pharrell unless he's teaming up with Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer, yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> Their work is monumental, I would say. I think the further back you go, the more likely Hassan is to get killed by a sane person. <laughs> killed by a sane person. Killed by a sane person. For the sake of the tribe, he must be destroyed. <laughs> Uh, favorite video game song? Mine is the underwater level music from Donkey Kong Country. Give it a listen. Oh, Much love, long man. That's I don't really know. That music. is a super tough question. There's so many that yeah, would be in competition. Okay. It would be insane. Yeah, exactly. um, I would likely opt for like from software shit uh, quickly, and Halo. then I would opt for Bloodborne. Um, yeah, I legit just cannot even hazard a guess. Not off the top of my head like that. Oh, that's a hard one. But it, yeah, there's there's such a huge amount of different game tracks that, that would be in competition for it. There are. This is a matter of we would just keep naming different games until we're like, yep. So this is an impossible question. The Sun Pika is a morally bankrupt, decrepit omelette, devoid of anything of value to offer society, beyond serving as a warning for the future. Well, we can all profit from a bad example. Yeah. Hassan is such a bad person, you don't have to amplify any of his traits to make a caricature. He has become indistinguishable from parody. A little bit. Um, again, I did say when we were watching it that this shouldn't have been possible. Uh, and I stand by it. Everything that happened with our coverage of him, it shouldn't have, that shouldn't have been possible. He's that fucking nutty. Going to school for writing. Comp is... Comp I... Comp 1? Comp I? Comp 1? I'm not sure. Has me objectively... Comp 1, yeah. Evaluating a movie for my final essay. I feel prepared and thank you all at EFAP for doing <gasps> it. Uh, for, for... If you don't ace this class, man. <laughs> oh. I'd be curious if um, what 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 kind of thing they're looking for. I guess because you're evaluating a movie. I'm. A, I would assume that finding a theme is going to get you points big time for whatever you're talking about. That feels like the kind of thing they would want you to be able to do. Um. Incorrect game quote of the day. 
I was wrong about you, Senator. You are not cringe. You are just a fucking racist. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Implying being racist isn't cringe. Yeah, I know, right. Uh, will you guys cover Southpaw and SK's coverage of your Batman breakdown or their Civil War take? Uh, no, I, 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 oh. I don't think so. There's, there's no plans. Um, Mola, will you read Berserk? Um, I wouldn't mind doing that. It's, um, recommended by basically everybody. That's, um, manga, right? Yeah. Yeah. And there's not many people who, um, who, like, re recommend any adaptations. It's more so just the, the source, except for, like, one season or something. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, Hassan is so full of it, he literally has two toilets next to each other. Well, oh, Gotta yeah. make sure you can get it out quick. <laughs> a door nail is put in a door to strengthen it, and then the point is hammered flat like a rivet, so it can't be reused. Okay, hmm. alright. Um... I just got a long-awaited promotion and wanted to share the love. Thank you for the great content over the years. I refer new friends often. Hi, Rags. Oh, hello. Hey, Congrats. good to Thank you for passing people our way. Passing people, yeah. Thanks for doing that. And for the promotion. Nice work. Um, Bug Mary Kill, tall woman, short woman, same height woman. Oh, I don't really have a I preference, don't... I suppose. Yeah, I'm fine with really... all of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm fine with all of them. Height really isn't a thing for me. I just don't. Uh, live prayer check. Rags, Lord's Prayer. Mola, Active Contrition, Fringy, Holy Rosary. Go, go, go. I mean... I don't know Rosary. I don't know the Active Contrition, yeah. I know the Our Father. It's basic. I'm not even going to recite it. Well, there you go. <laughs> I mean, I've said it. I've said it a bit, an, it, an I, infinite amount of times. I was going to say, I believe life. you know it. Yeah, I absolutely know it. Um, just hand it over to my master thesis. One 100... hundred. I'll, I'll do. I'll do one better. I know that shit in Latin. Neat. The Pater Noster. Just handed over my master thesis, 150 pages, 270k characters. First compliment I got was, why is this so long? Now I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Presumably there's no well, limit for that then, master thesis? or is I there... think uh, they're, they're certainly meant to be, or not meant to be, but they. I think masters and doctorates, whatever you create for those, end up being long. Like, they're, they're something you work on for a long time. From what I understand, anyway. I don't have a doctorate, so... <laughs> That's not even long. Alright, well, what is the average length of a master thesis? Hold on, maybe there's, there's something I can pick up for that. Master thesis length. A master thesis is generally 40 to 80 pages, not including the bibliography. Um... Apparently, ANU says a thesis might be fifteen to 20,000 words. Yeah, I've known it. Maybe it's different in different countries. Um, who is leading the Marines in Halo Infinite? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the command structure is anymore. The UNSC. I was gonna say I've not fully understood it from my time with uh, with the games, but not because they don't explain it, just because I just don't remember. But the f the the show definitely drops you in the thick of it, sort of thing. But they haven't bothered yeah. to do standard sort of expositiony stuff as much as they mm -hmm. I think needed to. So I'll be right back and use the loo. Hmm. Um, thoughts on Better Call Saul Season 5 finale? I think it's the worst Better Call Saul Breaking Bad moment. Um, that person gets that, and he wins a thing, so that just, we, yeah. No, I, I don't think it's very well done, that, that part. Um, in fact, when they describe the plan, 
and the in the process of executing it, I was like, there's only one result of this. There's no way anything else can happen. And then we see a different thing happen as a result of some crazy bullshit, uh, which was disappointing, but... I mean, I'm still willing to see what they end up doing with uh, the characters, of course. Uh, I don't know if you remember this, Fringy, but when we first meet Saul in the beginning of Breaking Bad, when they have the guns to him, he says, did Lalo send you? Okay. And um, So I guess we find out who that guy is. Well, he's the like the current main villain for uh, Better Call Saul. Okay. thing was, this, um, I don't feel like he's been very well executed, like, like integrated, not executed necessarily. I don't, uh, I think the actor's doing great and the character's pretty strong. It's just that it's, um, it did feel a little when he came in and with what he's been doing that they were like, oh yeah, we're, we're catching up with continuity now. So we got to follow that line Saul had. Got to have mm -hmm. a character called Lalo doing some stuff. Okay. Um, All right, I am back. What is that? What is the haps? How was that crazy bullshit? Well, I can't explain it in more detail because it's like super spoilery. All right, and there's people here who are still looking to watch Better Call Saul. All right. So, oh no! You know. Hi, Rags. Hello. Relative to their backgrounds and resources, could it be argued that Sam Witwicky is a more competent protagonist than Disney's Boba Fett? Yeah, maybe. I think for sure. It is probably not that difficult. That's the thing. We, we already we have such a low bar to work with because Boba Fett is abysmal in that regard. He's terrible as a protagonist. He yeah, should like know better, Sam, and he has all Sam the resources Whitney, to do it. Like runs into the. I know. Mean, I know he runs away a lot in those films, but like he is doing stuff. You know, like he is. He is an active participant in the narrative. Um. Manga, recomm manga recommendation of the day, Goodbye Eri, a one-shot about a kid who's asked by his mother to film her last days before she passes away. It's a quirky but amazing read that feels different from other manga. Also, hi, Rags. Hi. Fair enough. I've, I've not heard of it. Uh, thoughts on the Gaming Brit Show? Uh, I like that channel, but I haven't watched, or well, I haven't watched the videos in a little while. I remember... Not always agreeing, but always generally finding the perspectives interesting. You yeah, made a really yeah. good Ratchet and Clank video. Yes. True. Uh, except, for, except for when you said Ratchet and Clank 3 is overrated. I am not I'm not as big a fan of that one. Um The take of that I, game. No, I, I love that game. I did because yeah. um the perspective one of the things that was presented as a perspective that I wasn't super thrilled with was um Oh, in Ratchet and Clank 1 and 2, the levels tend to open up into two parts. I don't need to explain why this is good, right? I think you said something along those lines. Uh, almost like with the implication that... Because Ratchet and Clank 3 is more linear. It's like, well, this is... A, almost like that it's necessarily better that there's uh, two parts. And I think he kind of hand-waved away that um the, the counter-argument, which I think is pretty fair that those main parts are a lot longer in 3. Um... Like, and, and also, I guess, discounting as well, because the, the complaint was, like, Ratchet and Clank 1 and 2 have a lot more content than 3. But, like, you have to ignore the multiplayer to say that, I think. Um, that game has, like, a pretty feature-rich multiplayer mode. I remember playing a hell of a lot of it back in the day. Um, I c the problem is I don't want to, because it may well be that I'm paraphrasing in a way that's inaccurate or I'm not remembering the full breadth of his criticisms. I just remember I wasn't a huge fan of that video. Um, but I, yeah, he's, he's made some good stuff. Um, um, um. That's interesting. The problem is EFAP has great criticism on Hassan, but the community is overly rude and hateful, which sort of weakens EFAP's stance and gives the Twitches an excuse to ignore them entirely. You know what happens not, when you're incredibly kind and, and fair to someone like Hassan. We yeah. watched it happen. We're... Yeah, we are not. Yeah, not that. We we are we are we. If anything, we were restrained. No, I don't. I don't know if you heard what I said. So we we've watched I feel people like approach. The question. Yeah. So 
We we know Being what happens if you go. Being kind doesn't yield awesome results. I would say yields fuck all uh, results. You just get shat yeah. on. Look what happened yeah, to Jay. Is, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, exactly. Jay's response was as charitable and thorough and fair as possible. And look at the response. I don't think it matters. The, the, the criticism is being levied. That alone gets you in trouble no matter what. And I would... There's, there's reverse value to, to yield from it as well in, in being more aggressive. It, it highlights the, the... This is a relatively serious situation. It shouldn't be a... shouldn't be treated as anything other than that. Um... Depending on your point of view, of course, but I, I just I don't think he deserved any kind of uh, civility, to be honest. And I still think we provided it. Yeah, we were. <laughs> we, I have no issue with how we behave towards him at all. He deserves worse. Goobles, Mola, pronounce Goobles again, please. Is is that wrong? Wait, what? Is what? Was it Goebbels? What were you saying? Goebbels. Oh. Well, that's how you pronounce it. Oh, there you go. Columbo is the best detective. Um. Her that shows good. Yeah, yeah. I funny. always hear really good things about it. I'd like to watch it, though. If it was, like, one of those media, um, I guess, things that I've, that I've, I've omitted for whatever reason that I should have, uh, I should look into. Yeah, I wouldn't mind watching it either. I hear good things. Yeah. Yo, I'm so excited. Check out Liquid Richard's Twitter. We're about to get some banquet bangers pretty soon. Big ups to the new album. <laughs> See, I have a... Uh, All right. I guess it's a new Liquid Richard album on the way. All right. Um, buy my plush or I will eat your family. That's uh, Jay doing very subtle promotion for the plushie. Oh, boy. If anyone's not aware of it, it's still available. I, I don't know how long yeah. it has. You can put it up there with your rags and molar plushes. Yeah. Or your drinker plushes if you got those too. Mm. Uh, Jay, I was the third buyer. Get kicked. Wow. Oh boy. Uh, why is Doom Eternal's story bad? I haven't played it, I wouldn't know. I can't remember. Um, what the criticisms would be against it. I don't think I finished Doom Eternal. I think I got pretty I close, didn't. I never finished I it. Finish it. Mola, can you sing Santa Baby for us? I'm um, right. <laughs> Santa Baby. Okay, Fringy, when did you come out of your egg? I'm not a bird. That fish parasite But you have a beak. Oh. That doesn't. We we've been over this. Octopi have big. Doesn't make them birds. Though I guess no, they, they have bills. do. Eggs though. No, we 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 talked about this. We went over this on EFAP. I thought we I thought we figured it. Yeah, all that's out. why that's why everyone thinks you're a bird. I think it's fairer to assume you're a bird than an octopus. I think so. Yeah. Yeah, sure. But I never said I was. An now octopus. maybe the point of the octopus you... of the comparison is that it's not a necessary component of. I could see him being some octopus-like Lovecraftian monstrosity who's inside of this. No, that's you know that's this... not part of the canon. Oh no, is it? Is it not? It's, it's not like the deep, that's... deep lore. No, that's absolutely the deep not lore, part of the, canon. the deep fried lore. But then again, I don't even fully understand the fringy canon at this point. Well, to be fair, you don't have to be a bird to come out of an egg. It's that's true. That's true. You can be a reptile. Yeah, but since Fringy is a bird, he did come out of an egg. Unless he was the first bird, and he just well, sort of I am the, was created uh, the, by some the, deity. The first common ancestor of all birds. But then I'd be a dinosaur, not a bird. Um, but yeah, they Dinosaurs said... had gills, so that Fringy can have a beak. That fish parasite eats and then replaces the tongue. Apparently how it works. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know what that one is. Yeah, fucking gross. That is yeah. that is a thing. I now want Bane voice Tom Hardy to play Shadow in Sonic Three. You merely adopted the Chaos Emeralds. I was <laughs> born from them. <laughs> Mooded by. That'd be really good. Sit or stand to wipe your bum. What? Kind of. 
don't think anybody stands, uh, do they? Does anybody? Yeah, like what stand? Who stands up? So you re you reach inside the like your bum. You're, you're sitting on the toilet and you kind of reach down in there. Let me introduce you to uh, the word you're... tilt. Tilt. Well, yeah, I never said you couldn't tilt. I was just clarifying. Yeah. But you made it sound what? like it was a binary of you have to stand up to do it because you couldn't possibly you wouldn't want to put your hand in the toilet or something. No, no, I no. I I feel like this is another situation of medium rare chicken ranks. Yep. <laughs> Where you have revealed what? something and you can't I, walk away, you can't run away from No, I, what did I even, I didn't say anything. I haven't made any claim, but I was just clarifying. We, 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 we were both wrong like with that. baffled by the fact that you entertained standing up to wipe your ass. Because <laughs> the only way that I could see you could stand up to wipe your ass would be like maybe... <laughs> Meh. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> I I feel like this is is this feigned like oh man yeah how could you stand up and wipe your bum I would no know. I'm sure you could do it yeah keep up the act what act <laughs> all I'm saying is that I think it's probably possible to stand up and wipe your ass is what I'm saying you would know from experience huh? oh I, I don't think it's that impossible it's I consider possible. it incredibly inefficient compared. Yeah, like, why would anybody do that? I, I don't know. Yeah, sure. Oh, I thought of something. Okay, what if, right, you get, you do your business, and you're on the, on the toilet, the commode, as they say in some places. Maybe you, you put a leg up. Nah, because your pants. Ah, damn it. This would only work if you're naked, so you would you'd have to completely strip down for. I mean, for maybe a if that's how you do it. Yeah, all right. Well, I I never wear clothes, so um, so you 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 take off your clothes for the poo, you fold them neatly, put them on the countertop, sit down, do your poo, and then after you're done, you stand up, sort of right, and then you, and then you put a leg on the rim. On the on the rim of the bathtub, right? So you can lift a leg up and then you wipe like that. So that you get I don't know what's you did you do that and you're all cleaned up. Then you wash your hands after a wet wipe, of course. You always finish up a good poo with a wet wipe. And then you take your clothes, put them back on, and then exit the bathroom. Well, there you go, that's how Rags does it. There you go. <laughs> Oh, no, that was just, it was just a funny visual in my head. Hassan is this uh. world's dung eater. He defiles and curses the videos he steals and leaves people that wash his crap dead on a chair. Oh, no. Damn. Dung eater probably has better principles than Hassan, come on. Have any of you read the Halo books? If so, which ones would you recommend? I read some I of read them. three. I read the first three. Which were um, the Fall of Reach, the Flood, and First Strike, and I like them all, and I would recommend them all. They are good. I like Fall of Reach. Yeah, they are they are good science fiction uh, books. It's been a long time since I read them, so don't ask me for any sort of in depth review. But I know when I read them, I, I did quite enjoy them. Um, I remember reading one of the newer ones and thinking it was pretty bad. Um, oh, really? Yeah. Do you know, remember um, which one it was? I Yeah, I got it. It was Ghost Legacy of Onyx? of Onyx. No, it wasn't Ghost of Onyx. It was Legacy of Onyx. It was like Onyx in the new 343 tenure. I was not a fan of that okay. one. Um, I remember finding it really uh, ham-fisted as like a... What, the the core of that one was that there's like a uh, this like teenage girl is one of the POV characters. She was on a planet that got glassed and got saved by Johnson. I was like, man, that's uh, I guess Johnson did get around like in terms of just going around to different planets and fighting battles. But you know, uh, and then like she has a, basically this is this is obviously post um like Halo Three. So the you got a whole bunch of elites that are like friendly to human. We're well, not friendly, but uh. You know, like not, not with the enemies, couple. yeah. So they're like, you've got you've got humans and you've got uh, elites and some grunts living in this like forerunner shield world, 
and basically like the main thrust of the story is that she is incredibly prejudicial towards um these elites and grunts but over time it's like ah they're like me they're people it's like yep yep cool this is really ham-fisted i don't know why like this is not that interesting an idea i i remember like being super unimpressed with the dialogue like everybody saying exactly what they mean this is, like barely any subtext I wasn't a big fan of... Yeah, it's, it's, I, I don't like it. Um, well, in a book, I, they call that subscript. Oh, subscript, I suppose, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But it's... That's yeah, like two I, jokes in one. Problem is, I remember it would have had the same problem as... um, It would have had the same problem as uh, Halo 5 in terms of, like, I have no idea what the Guardians are. I don't know what the hell they do. I, I don't know, like, I don't understand any of, like, the stakes of what's happening here. Um... Yeah, not a big fan of that one. And I remember I started listening to the audiobook of like, uh, it was like a direct sequel to Halo 5 in book form, which, uh, you know, that's that's like one of those really great uh, ideas that 343 had where you need to like read books to understand what's going on in the story. Um, and I remember I wasn't a big fan of the dialogue in that one either. Main character was Buck, but it didn't feel like Buck, but like some weird, I don't know, it just felt like the, the writer was just like writing dialogue that specifically advanced the plot uh, yeah but full of reach I like um I like your character plushies but I'm not gonna buy plushies of just dudes especially not twinky dudes who constantly talk about coom and gay stuff okay <laughs> that's it's your choice, I guess. Your yeah, loss. Yeah, everyone can make their own decisions when it comes to a plushie. That's fine. Uh, Fringy, you are clearly a bird. Embrace it. I'm not. I'm a plague doctor. I suppose you could be a plague doctor and a bird, right? I could be, but I'm not. I'm just a plague doctor. Half of people stand, guys. It's not really not weird. And standing means putting your body weight on your feet, not being bolt upright. Um... I guess at this point it's just going to be semantically what we're referring to because the uh, thing is when you stand you're going to be uh, putting your things in position that makes them less accessible. Let's just put it that way. Yeah, your cheeks are a bit more together and yeah. Yes, and Fringy, the first rule of improv. This is an improv. This is a, this is just falsities about me. It's all falsehoods. It's not improv. <laughs> Capital. Wait, All you right. guys take your clothes off Ethan. to poop? What the fuck? No, just rags. No, I was no, I was fucking around, and I don't take off my clothes to poop because I'm a dog and I do not wear clothes. Please. Dogs can wear like little mm -hmm. jackets. They can. They absolutely can. Like I can accessorize. Well, that's very more than well. an accessory at that point. That's, uh, that's not But clothes, would, but clothes would be different, which is why I used a different word. Yes. The sunglasses count as clothes. Oh, they're an accessory. You are always, you always weren't. I thought we had this conversation once. We did. We agreed they were an accessory. Did we? Yep. Did we? Yep, we did. Okay, I can't sure remember. We did. I, I thought, I thought what we realized was that it's a lot more complicated than that. The like things that we could consider accessories may well be clothes. Perhaps it is in the eye of the beholder. Maybe. It would yeah, shift their sunglasses are going to be That's really right. close to your eyes. Mm. Like a hat is an item of clothing. I consider, and... depends what kind of hat, I think. I think most hats would be accessories, but I think some might be considered clothes if they're thorough. Mm -hmm. What if about like very, a helmet? They, a helmet, I think helmet's an accessory. <clears throat> what about armor? Is that clothing or I think armor or an is, accessory? I think, I would say that armor is... Ooh, well, so here's, tough. See, yeah, this is why it will be tough because a helmet is part of an armor set, or you could say that it is. It's like, well, surely if you just say armor overall, you know. And if a helmet isn't, because is, if it's is, a suit is, of armor, yeah. I could say that a suit of armor would be more clothing. But I could also see how someone would be like, when I say put on clothes and you put on armor, right? It's not like what I mean, but it mm -hmm. sort of fulfills the role. Whereas armor, a armor. nice tautology that helps us get <laughs> closer to uh, the answer. To if they mean question. that armor is its own separate kind of thing, it can Maybe. be. It depends what kind of armor. Because like if I put on a Kevlar vest, that's not clothing, you know. Um, 
I I mean, it's a vest. Well, it's called a vest. Um, it is but a I don't vest. know how it like actually... All, like all metrics. The only difference is that bullets don't go through it. Because it's really just a... It's... It is a... It's held on by straps, and it's a plate carrier with a vest in it. Or, sorry, with a, a plate inside of it. Which I don't All know right, if, if that constitutes a vest. What is a what is a vest, I suppose? Clothing are items worn on the body. Typically, clothing is made of fabrics or textiles, but over time it is... Um... It has included uh, garments made of animal skin and other thin sheets of material and natural products found in the environment put together. I don't see how armor doesn't fit into that definition. The only Dude, reason if the definition is that items worn to cover the body, then yeah, loads of things are yeah. clothed. Yeah, that exactly. would be because sunglasses cover the eyes, but at that point, I like a bracelet. Well, are, would it, be is an, it is an item. Yeah, I guess it would be right. Maybe clothing is the overarching thing, but accessories is just the term that we use to subcategorize. Maybe much in the same way that yeah. armor is a subcategorization of clothing. Yeah, seems that way. But that there was so many body, people but who really specialized to protect you. <laughs> but confidently saying no, it's not. And it's like, guys, look up definitions every now and then. You might you might be surprised by what you find out. The world is changing. Definitions. Yeah. Scary. Mm -hmm. uh, while free play in Skywalker Saga is interesting, there's not much point in collecting all the Kyber bricks. What you really need are the studs to unlock all characters and ships. I didn't even have interest in that. It killed my interest. They murdered it. They stabbed it in the back. Um, I can and did, and it seems to comport with the definition that we just read, so... <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, I got, I, I don't care, really, <laughs> if, 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 if it's considered like, it or not, but it seems like, like it is. No, it's not. It's like, yep, yeah, well. All of this because of someone talking about if you stand when you shit, or wipe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because what I'm seeing from discussions is like people saying it shouldn't be called clothing because clothing's meant to protect from the elements while armor's meant to protect you from like more important things. It's like, oh, that's not really a great way. It doesn't protect you from elements like steel and shit. Well, and it makes you wonder where the right? line like, exactly would be, right? Because yeah. when you get harder and like, harder materials and, and it's still protect, like you can get armor that's built to keep you warm as well, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. Like, what the purpose? I feel like the purpose is not really it. Cover it. You wear it. That's. I yeah, think that's uh, a decent general difference that can you can use to dis uh, to, to oh, separate. Oh, that, that would define the subcategory. I would agree. The subcategory of clothing. Uh the category of clothing. I mean. <laughs> Uh, when Ivan Vanko said, I want my bird in Iron Man 2, he wanted Fringy. What he kept saying. Uh, this isn't my bird when he got a pale white one. He was looking for the green one. I see. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. an interesting theory, but false. Hmm. I think it's a scientific theory where it's basically a fact. Uh, speaking of sci fi books. Ian M. Banks' culture series are masterworks in the genre. Yeah, I want to read some of it. Oh yeah, that's probably a good point. John Wick's bulletproof suit. No way you're not calling yep. that clothing, right? Yeah. yeah, that's definitely clothing. Yeah, but it's armor, though. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, help! My freeform sci-fi roleplay DM just keeps lifting entire plots and ideas from uh, video games by just changing a few names. He's been doing it for a decade, and I can't take it anymore. I'm going mad, and I want to use new lore. We you tell even, him not to do that. Even did a reset so my friend could bring in the stuff my friend made, but he just entirely made the entire universe revolve around his stuff, leaving no room for anybody else to bring in their writing. He won't even let me bring in my lore. How do I deal with this? He's been a friend. Uh, Tell him. 
for a decade? Do I just let him continue to do his ego-driven agenda and extract what fun I can? Or do I try to ruin, run my own campaign and then just keep him on a tight leash to make sure that uh, my other friends can have fun? It's mostly that he refuses to let anyone other than his stuff be special. An absolute death grip on the story, and doing constant deus ex machinas to stop people using powers that go off his predecided solutions since roleplay are video games, I guess. Bad face. You should just tell him. You should tell him how you feel and tell him about the impact it has on your enjoyment and other people's enjoyment. I agree. And you might even want to do yeah. uh, maybe an intervention with the other players. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah well, speak to him well. privately. You know, tell him your concerns. But don't, you know, because, you know, that. But you need, you do need to be. If you're not having fun, that's the death knell of things. Yeah, the, yeah. The, you, when it just, comes to the you know. uh, tabletop stuff, I mean, like having fun really is just the big. That's the ultimately the goal. And if you're not having fun, then that's going to kill everything. Story or not, even if he thinks it's a great story, if the players aren't having fun, then they're just not going to care and they're going to stop showing up. And it's going to be very. It's going to going to be miserable and it's going to die. You need to talk to him. Tell him how you feel. Tell him why. Yeah, you know, it can always be nice and chill, nice and civil. We'll just see how he reacts, and then maybe, maybe it is for the best that uh, you start your own one. Who knows? It could also be that he's like, okay, it's time to implement other things. Yes. Yep, yep. Uh, you know who shares my birthday? Mustache Man, and I heard he had a great party. Today is April 20th. Still is for me. Still isn't for free. No, it's it is 21st. for me. All day. Imagine standing while bent cheeks are still open. Imagine standing while bent cheeks are still open. Alright, moving on. Uh, hi, Rags. Hello. Yoda is censored in Battlefield 5. Yoda? It is? Yo, let me check. I'm playing it right now. Yoda. You cannot say Yoda. It's true. What did Yoda do? You can't say Yoda. <laughs> That's unbelievable. What did Yoda do? <laughs> <laughs> this article's being written right now. What did Yoda do? I Yeah, I, I typed it in chat, and so it's just four asterisks. And so I said, you cannot say the little green man from Star Wars. <laughs> That's insane. I don't even know why. I don't, um, I don't know. Yeah, there's nothing for me to say because I'm just so. What in the world? What? Oh, yeah. I. That is almost. Shockingly. As much as I really like Battlefield 5, the, it is the most oppressive chat I've ever seen in a game. Um, you can. Like, the most. The Yoda one's bad because you wonder. It doesn't make any sense. But. It. Uh, let me double check which one it was real quick. Yeah, you cannot type in wasn't. The contraction of was not, that, that is censored. I think that makes you sense. I, I've been hit by that word. <laughs> um, just do a handstand. Problem solved. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh, and since it's topical, it is 420. Uh, Hitler is censored in the Battlefield 5 chat. The World War II game. I mean, I, I, that, that one doesn't surprise me at all, but the, the Yoda one definitely does. You cannot say Infowars. They made sure that you were not allowed to say that. Again, that one surprised me less than Yoda. Yoda is one where it's like, I don't... Why? <laughs> yeah, it's like, how could someone possibly use this in a context that could even be regarded as offensive? Uh, do you crumple TP or fold it neatly to wipe? Who the fuck crumples? Fold it neatly! Of course! What, do you think I'm five? Don't crumple. Doing that. That's, that's evil. Would you rather have inertia control Mach 5 speed or time phase with your normal speed? Time phase with your normal speed? I have no idea. Like you like you move, like you pause time, but you can move like you typically would do? 
Someone said, wait, Rags, you really like Battlefield 5? Yeah, Battlefield 5 is a fucking tragedy. Because it's like, it might legit be my favorite. I think, you know what, I'll say it. It is my favorite Battlefield game. And I've played basically all of them for very long extended periods of time. And I think Battlefield 5 is actually my favorite. But that's why it's a tragedy. Because it's so damn good. And they absolutely have ruined it with this cuckery. I say, I say they ruined it. They have crippled it immensely in the eyes of the gaming public. People have a very negative perception of this game, ex especially people who haven't played it. Um. So is why even bother supporting Activision or EA? Oh, no, no, I didn't give them up. They said if I don't like it, don't buy it. So I got a key from a uh, key seller. Yeah, I didn't fucking give EA any money. They were very specific. Out of those options, I'm just going with the time phase one. I'm interested in any kind of time control, I suppose. On, I don't yeah. really want to yeah, go too. super It would be fast. fun to play around with during the day. To be fair, Amber stood to poop on the bed. Do you think she sat down to wipe or continued standing? I think um, she, she probably did a clean poo and then went to the the toilet and did, and did the cleanup part because she just wanted the poo, you know, the message. You don't want it smeared and stuff. You want poo. Very straightforward. Uh, also, hi, Mola, Long, Fringy, Bird, and Rags Dog. Hashtag me poo. Hello. Oh, me poo. Nice. Uh, I don't really know what a prophet is. He's like some dude who shoots a big laser from Halo Wars. Morley, you can't keep revealing yourself as an ultra-based Halo Wars player. I can't take all this teasing. I just keep cooming. I never played the second one. I've heard that the second one's quite good. Um, I've got a friend who really I've likes it. A little bit of it. Is it um? Does it have a player base of any kind? I'm uh, not sure that it, it's like four or five years old at this point, so don't know. Mm. I don't know. I legit don't know. Censorship should be illegal. I don't know about that. There's gonna be yeah. crazy extreme instances where we would probably value censorship. Um, mm -hmm. But in the way that it often gets used, we're definitely not cool with it. Um, I literally can't say hit. Oh, you can't say hit? Oh, and they said a second one with, with le. Sorry for the confusion. I'm not surprised that oh, they've, right. they've banned that. They're stupid. They, of course they've banned that. The Yoda one is just, I don't see what the connection is. I don't... <laughs> Yeah, like, even though I don't think it should be censored, I see why they censored some things. But some I just don't understand. Like, Yoda and hasn't. Like, why can't I say... Hasn't is a wasn't. weird one. Yeah, well, I... <laughs> yeah. I think it said wasn't. I don't, I don't get it. Yeah, it's, it might be both. Let me just... Hasn't, hasn't and wasn't. No, they're both censored. Oh, no. Fuck me. Uh, Rags, can you say orc? Are you allowed to say orc in, in the chat? Orc? Yeah. Ooh, let me check. Orc, let me try with a K. You can say both with a C and a K. All right, so the Ukrainians have been using that way to describe Russians lately. Maybe, maybe it's connecting some way to that stuff, I don't know. Um, but apparently you can't say them, so. And yes, Reddit did censor it at one point. Well, the word Orc? Wow. So weird, man. Like, you'd, you'd, you'd wonder what the limits are on that. Like, if I start using the word poo to describe uh, Russians, does that, they're like, right, can't be using poo across all of Reddit. What about the? The? Yeah, not, I don't mean, I mean, if we used that to describe someone negatively and then uh, they ban that. Yeah, <laughs> the word, they'll, they'll uh... capitulate on any word. They, they, they I, I think the people who are this censorious, they absolutely have no principle whatsoever. In this regard, they will they will abandon any word. They will let the other side have it, yeah. The biggest sad is that I've been... Sorry, the biggest sad is that I've asked him about this before and he said okay, but then just continues doing it the next day after changing. Crying face. That's about the, the, the role-playing uh, MMO. Right. Oh, sorry. And leave. Just then, then stop. If you're not yeah, having thanks. fun, then stop playing with them. If, if this is such an issue that you're just like apparently miserable about it and you hate it, don't play. I mean, you've got an in a there. Message. You've talked about it before. Say that nothing changed, and this time you're asking definitively for changes to happen. If they don't, then you're going to start your own because you've had enough. Yeah, just leave. Yeah. 
story here, though. Sounds awkward. But yeah, okay. some people, so. I don't know, when it comes to stories and stuff, a lot of, that's the thing some GMs have. They have a, this is, this is my story that I'm trying to tell, and the players are just pawns in a story that I want to have happen. Instead of, this is, I, I'm making kind of a world for players to be the story, you know, the, 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 the characters in. Mola, please turn off the Mario Kart idle screen. No, it's it's like that no, for a reason. It's beautiful. <laughs> like it's yeah. the music's pretty quiet and the visuals are, are more engaging than nothing being there. I think. Um, yeah, because according to OBS, all three of us double the volume of the background music. So it can't be that bad, unless you just hate the tune, which Mario Kart Double Dash. Yeah. Come on, pretty chill. We talked. Me and Frank talked about this being played in the void. No, it, it'd be okay. Um, Streamlabs ones, uh, I will have to grab them, that's, that's my bad, I forgot to grab them for today, but I'll put them all at the beginning of the next Wednesday ones. Um, oh, actually no, we'll, we'll, our plan is this Saturday to do an EFAB that's specifically about catching up on stream, uh, on Streamlabs Super Chats, because we're rather behind, we've got many modes in which we're going to engage with catching it up, including the stream you've just heard now. Um, mm -hmm. But I'll do Streamlabs at the beginning of the next EFAP. They'll all be done there. That's uh, what, three days. Friday. Yeah, I know days. Uh, I can't think of anything to announce or, or remind anybody of. I got uh, open bar tomorrow. And then... Uh, yeah, I think it would just be... And... Work is still just going on on new projects, as is the case with a lot of us, I believe. Absolutely, yeah. I should have a new video out this week. Oh, awesome! Sweet. Can't say can't say I got anything this week, but uh, we're we're, we're getting close. <laughs> yeah, getting close. Still, still a lot of work to do, but again, uh, and Cosmonic Eleven is up tomorrow on YouTube. Uh, don't have anything else right now. Uh, <clears throat> that's that because we've caught up with today's as well. So that's about it from us. Wait. Oh wow! Unless there's anything you guys wanted to talk about or see. Oh, I suppose not. I, just I suppose not. We've chatted about this, that, and the other thing, and that was fun. Yes. Um, in that case, I suppose all I've got to say is, uh, you know, goodbye, basically. Yeah, see you all later. Have fun. Yeah, goodbye, everybody. We will up catch you soonish. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for donations. And we'll see you Saturday. Goodbye. Bye, everyone. See you Saturday.